Hi guys, thank you for joining the live stream. Today we have back with us Professor Mysterious Sociologist who is still hiding from the uh, benevolent, nice, cute puppy eyes of academia. And hilariously, uh, ma'am from Hindu Vichardhara show has already <laughs> answered and replied exactly on point. She has said first comedy stream. She said commented the same thing on Twitter as well. And uh, Twitter say yaad aaya. Today uh, we got I got got into a bit of a two three line verbal spat with a Manuvadi uh, communist on Twitter, uh, who shall remain nameless because uh, I don't want to give him any kind of following. Because there are uh, many Hindutvadis who are basically on the edge of socialism, or still still have a lot of sympathy for the anti-capitalist, uh, anti-free market, anti-business viewpoints of a lot of people. So that guy basically doesn't have any following on Twitter. But if I uh, name him, he might become famous. So let's not go that route. He has four or five followers, and he is very a very big loudmouth, abuses uh, businessmen, any any free market thinker, left and right all the time. and today uh, he said something that has never been said before by a communist he said that real communism has not been tried before basically in those words uh, he was saying that uh, how we must basically uh, keep, keep capitalists in check uh, and the way to do that is by asking them to not uh, take as much profit as they do let's ask them to ha have lesser profits for themselves so someone tagged me uh, tagged my post and then basically asked him to comment and he posted this view of his um, and i said that yeah that has worked out great for west bengal hasn't it and he said that har baat pe west bengal mat lao <laughs> which is his way of saying that uh, commun real communism has not been tried it yeah some bad things may have happened in west bengal let's not bring that into it so i said that yes someone says that i don't want to drink this dirty water and you tell them har baat pe diarrhea mat lao so forget diarrhea for a moment let's see what are the benefits of of a dirty glass of water okay you know this i i sympathize yes. with this person uh, you know i i too don't want to work hard and abuse capitalists all day and then you know work on twitter uh, which is a which is owned by a capitalist and use it to critic capitalism yeah it's tempting you can't blame the guy right it's yes fine. so uh, professor uh, where should we start from uh, should we start from any uh, the the beginning portion itself or do, do we go to the highlights let's the, the go to the points. highlights itself because i don't think our you know points? viewers have the patience for the utter rubbish that's written in the first few pages hello neither Wait, do my I headphone office. is malfunctioning a little uh, some capitalist has gotten into it Yeah. Well, what did you say? I said uh, let's go to the highlights because people will fall asleep if we start reading this yeah. <laughs> hackneyed rubbish in the beginning. I am falling asleep just by looking at that page. <laughs> Are these so, uh, bold, bold paragraphs the basically the highlights of each paragraph? I guess so. Right. I yeah. I checked it and I basically this is uh, you know they just. they randomly felt some things were important so they put some highlight bold or highlight okay, okay. mein likh diya hai ki indian hai that yeah, kind of let's go through those and then we'll go to the bullet points as well yeah yeah why not so why the not? cpim places its manifesto before the people of india with a clear understanding that it is the bounden duty of every patriot to first and foremost ensure the defeat of the bjp and its allies the cpim pledges to do everything in its capacity to strengthen this collective duty a collective and to help the establishment of a secular government at the center for this and to ensure pro people policies a stronger presence of the cpim in parliament is essential so mr sociologist uh, why do you think a, a stronger presence of the cpim might be important in parliament is it a good or a bad thing see if it were a good thing then you know they wouldn't have to say it 10 times the point is that the, the cpim the the interesting fact is the choice of words that they use you know uh in the official manifesto so unofficially the cpim workers will say proud to be an anti national send me to pakistan mm -hmm. and that <laughs> but in the official manifesto because maybe you know two people in india might read it yeah and they can't officially declare themselves against uh, the indian state yeah. they use terms like patriot 
amazing all of a sudden cpm is talking about patriotism now he's patriotism he's yes, calling upon one thing they rally against the yeah, whole year whole yeah. like five years 364 into uh, uh, you know uh, four, 365 into five years they they then forget it very you know convenient or not forget it they kind of allude to the same thing when they need to present themselves as an alternative so next but you is, know something interesting yeah. they aren't even talking about um in in general terms anymore that you know yeah. uh india uh, you know india needs to be better this that they just openly attack bjp this time yeah like th- this is like bjp ko hatao jo bhi ho i don't care at this point replace them with anyone um democrats from america i don't care at this point hmm. just remove bjp Yeah, isn't this I can't take them anymore pretty clear messaging that even if you are a congress supporter trinamool supporter it does not matter we are one we are united in this fight so let's forget our petty differences no so you must understand that the congress and cpm of course i mean I, you know and a lot of our viewers obviously know that the cpm and congress are just jeta ke banglay bole gue repeat or repeat they are the same shit flipped either this side or that side they are not very different but yes cpim is more organized and from mm. the cpim you will understand why why this manifesto is very important mm. you will understand what the global left wants the congress will still play to pander to some local issues and all cpim doesn't care about local issues cpim is based out, out of india mm. so if if you were to understand what italians americans uh europeans were wanted to do to india in in a new colonial manner hmm. in 2024 just read this document if you have the time to waste yeah you will understand what uh, the foreigners want to happen in india foreigners yeah. who are not uh you know in favor of india's growth story just okay. read this and you'll understand cpim pledges to fight for an uncompromising adherence to the principle that religion is separated from politics the state the government and the administration it will fight for a law against hate speech and crimes it is committed <laughs> to scrapping the <laughs> ca cpim will fight it. oh my god so is it officially it's calling so, for a okay, ban okay. on so 295 it is uh, yeah so so interesting what defines hate speech and crimes anything that uh, isn't that is in favor of that is basically a religious value right if yes. if if you uh, if you say something bad against uh, a certain religion hmm. usually that qualifies as hate speech and crime so here you are firstly saying it's separating the politics from the state and then you are saying nahi but you know that separation has an aspect to it if, if our brothers or minority brothers don't like it then nahi hoga ज so they yeah. have said that the triple talaq issue is only a ploy by bjp to divide uh, the the anti bjp uh, voices because uh, yeah. multiple marriages are not even a big issue uh, for for or divorce even is not a big issue for muslims it's mainly an issue for christians and tribals and especially uh, tribal christians and secondly the article 370 issue is just like uh, palestine israel issue it's not a it's not a religious it's a issue it's a it's an anti colonialism stand that they are taking they are against yes. settler colonialism no so they will so for example the this is what the cpm is always good at they will suddenly make an issue uh, into a non issue they will suddenly say hijab uh, hijab pehante hai to this has nothing to do with it's choice uh, you know uh, this is your choice and it doesn't affect a lot of w- women right it doesn't yeah. affect a 20% of india indian yeah. population which is almost what uh, 30 crores or so hmm. of usme uh, half bhi kar do to 15 crores 15 crore hmm. people is not a big deal uh, if it if this thing affects them yeah. so they will they downplay a lot of issues very tactically hmm. and this is their whole thing this is their whole you know uh, you know agenda where they will highlight something that only suits their uh, 
ideology or 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 uh, whatever if you can call it ideology or their or their political aims hmm. but they will never take seriously things like ca which have actually can have a completely you know they, it can save hmm. millions of people hmm. potentially from get, getting killed not just potentially there are whole groups of motuas and other pakistani hindu refugees who are actually thinking of narendra modi as god because they are victims of ethnic cleansing yes and that that part of the thing is something they cannot digest you see here the kami would argue that yes you are giving a good number of people who are going to get saved so why not save even more people because you see religious persecution is not the only kind of persecution poverty is also a persecution it's also mental violence is also violence therefore why not give a home to those poor muslims also from bangladesh and pakistan who are getting persecuted by the capitalists in those countries yes. no if they really mm, want to punish the capitalists of bangladesh and pakistan they can go and protest against them in front of the high exactly. commission and yes. and and uh, cross the border will be will will fund uh, uh, <laughs> college street kolkata and i will fund a few tickets if they are no, willing to go to pakistan <laughs> and <laughs> protest and uh, th- that will be good good we will we will sponsor tickets no problem actually like Saur- yeah Uh, by the uh, way by the way something yeah. interesting before you read out the next highlight just mm. read the paragraph right above that okay the modi government has put in place the framework of, of a chilling surveillance state that completely <laughs> violates the fundamental right to privacy of the citizens wow. it has put in place draconian laws like the personal data protection act the uh, the criminal procedure identification act etc for collection of biometric data of all people detained in custody not only the convicted it has used a notorious israeli pegasus software against opposition leaders journalists and social activists the strengthening of the police state by instituting a surveillance regime that threatens the basic democratic rights and civil liberties of citizens guaranteed by our constitution wah ye to man man mein kya yeah all of a sudden they are against uapa pmla uh, hate speech oh. laws they are anand rangnathan all of a sudden no in a way this is what they do they support uh, you know they support free speech when it when they are not in power but yes. this is what i found funny that they are talking about a surveillance state now here people who don't know people outside west bengal so one of my friends once said that you know my, my one of my seniors once said you know what uh, cpim local committees did and i was like what they said they were indirect uh, indirectly acting out a surveillance state basically hmm of course a cpim local committee member in your neighborhood was basically like uh, a man sleeping between you and your wife hmm. and knowing everything that happened between you your wife your mother your father your whole family and every of these reports including if you said something against the government hmm. went back and were recorded in fact one of my teachers once said that when he got his job as a teacher uh all his details including whom his family supported politically whether his family had a good standing in the village mm. from where he came all his details were brought by the union leaders mm. where he joined which was in a city mm. 250 kilometers from his house mm. and all his details were with them mm. he said he said the network of the cpim is is in terms of getting information about certain families yeah. in the villages and and cities is unparalleled even by you know uh, global standards in some ways yes actually okay. uh, this reminds me that uh, a few months back mohammed salim was on a live national channel uh, that some some conclave debate with jay sai deepak so mohammed salim is sort of touted by cpim as their intellectual face spokesperson who can speak <laughs> multiple language languages competently yeah. and can debate people Urdu, so even Urdu, he Persian, after uh, arabic yeah. uh, after he obviously yeah. lost uh, uh, in his war of words with jay sai deepak he resorted to that same tactic he said no no now you are being islamophobic mohammed salim the communist the atheist said that yeah, jaisai yeah. deepak is being islamophobic of course and actually hey, i need to uh, i need to re- uh, actually we both need to reply to siddharth kumar Ti- tiwari here he has a very interesting question he is saying why are we even wasting our time on cpi manifesto nobody outside of a few fanboys are going to read it anyways why don't we look at congress and tmc manifesto i have an answer uh, then then i'll let mr sociologist uh, answer it see siddharth 
there are religious hindus who don't think there's any threat to hinduism and there are political hindus right that's the same way here cpim is basically just the religion ideology called communism they are the devout trads of the religion of communism whereas trinamool supporters congress supporters are the political communists okay they will further their communist anti anti india anti bjp because no matter what no matter who the vehicle for their uh, opinions okay so let's let's therefore directly attack the the religious manifesto the religious this is their uh, scripture okay so we are starting from there mr sociologist why do we need to discuss cpim's manifesto if if they are not a threat today it represents the greatest harm and threat democratically that we have to our existence when i say democratically again i i know the irony that cpim was never democratic and all yeah but when i say democratically even one vote that anyone casts in their favor even if it's 0.001% mm. these are the people who are voting for the absolute eradication of sanatan dharma in all its mm. existence yeah i would go ahead even to say that oic is more tolerant of our existence than the cpim in some ways <laughs> no okay. yeah same next next I mean, uh, yeah you can like like i said you know it's go ahead repeat repeat what <laughs> the point is that uh, they are they are much much more coherent and 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 they are much yeah. more aware of how they can destroy this country yeah. then even the congress and T- tmc is not interested in any of this honestly tmc just copy paste most of the stuff they see here and in yeah uh, congress's manifesto so they yeah. they don't matter Yes. very honest there there is not an ideological opposition right the cpim is committed to policies to protect india's economic sovereignty economic <laughs> sovereignty it it holds that privatization of the public sector must be revisited and reversed revisited reversed. because it has not been tried yet a tax, yet, yeah, yeah. a tax on the super rich along with a general wealth tax and an inheritance tax must be legislated workers rights reflected in pro worker laws must replace the labor codes food security depends on ensuring security of the farmers of india uh, though a legal guarantee i guess this is a spelling mistake through a legal guarantee of msp according to the swaminathan commission recommendations control prices ensure food security strengthen the public health system yeah we none of these have been tried ever in india uh, <laughs> and and uh, with with great consequences i'm sure yeah uh, now this is why i must like we must tell our you know viewers that why this is essential see in this one manifesto you get everything that that can derail our economy everything wo fir se 200% inflation fir se 50% uh, unemployment fir se ब्लैक में गैस खरीदो लोकल पार्टी नेता का पैर दबाओ दिस इज ऑल द दिस इज द जर्म दिस इज द इंसेप्शन इफ इफ दे आर लियोनार्डो डी कैप्रियो इन इंसेप्शन एंड दे आर ट्राइंग टू पुट दिस आई ऑफ कोर्स दे आर नॉट एज कैरिज्मेटिक और गुड लुकिंग और यूज यूजफुल एज लियोनार्डो डी कैप्रियो बट स्टिल द पॉइंट आई एम मेकिंग इज दिस इज द सीड दिस इज द सीड ऑफ दैट पॉइजन प्लांट दैट इज स्टिल इन्फेक्टिंग सम पार्ट ऑफ आर इंडियन सॉइल ओके so it it doesn't even matter if cpim or sitaram yechuri is charismatic or not it matters that bollywood people unless they get an get a get a different incentive structure they are going to follow these exact same policies they think these are nice policies if you read out to them don't tell them these are cpim's policies just tell them the policy they will say yes karna chahiye sarkar ko kuch karna chahiye workers ke liye msp ke liye the cpim stands for an urgent reduction in the duties on petroleum products policies to control price rise along with the supply of free rations of 5 kg grains for 81 crore people 5 kg of subsidized grains rice at rupees 3 per kg wheat at rupees 2 per kg and coarse grain at rupees 1 per kg must be restored uh, a universal public health care system with state funding must be immediately implemented this is the funny part the bjp actually does all these things much better if you think about yeah. it then the cpi ever did okay yeah yeah universal healthcare jo bol raha that is ayushman bharat yes. which which <laughs> guarantees healthcare benefits to f- uh, 50 crore people almost which is the which has been held by the british medical journal and everything hmm. it also uh, the bjp has provided free rations for more than 5 yeah. years now yeah and uh, the interesting thing is they have done it better and more efficiently without corruption hmm. than the cpim ever did so yes. again the one 
put up like even though these are i have problems with these things of course but even then the one logical claim you have wo bhi bjp ne kar diya hai tumse better yes as a so, as a sociologist could you care to get get into why bjp was able to uh, execute these things why whereas cpm couldn't because their intentions were probably the same no the cpim never intended to dist- you know uh, actually keep out the interest groups which controlled uh, the corruption avenues of corruption out of power so what i'm basically trying to say is if you look at uh, the 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 way in which they use the dominant caste narratives okay hmm. the way in which they use the mafia uh, and all that in west bengal hmm. they never actually dealt with corrupt people or 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 uh, even uh, those who benefited from corruption in any way Hmm. or or even they did not actually want the poor people to become rich this is the primary driving force that differentiates modi and the C- the bjp and the cpim i think that bjp somewhere actually is dumb enough to commit to making poor people rich and when i say dumb right. enough that means that this is the same thing that will bite them back 30 yeah. years later when people yeah. are used to good comfort and they will say are ab socialist bante hain ha yes so if if i were the bjp i would have kept you know some of them still hungry just as the cpm did cpm ruled for 30 years for a reason 34 yeah. years for a reason hmm. because they kept people poor and hungry and dependent on them hmm. the bjp actually believes its bullshit where it feels that if it makes people happy and prosperous that the people will continue to vote for them yeah my my understanding has been that this never actually works in the long run yeah in the short run perhaps we will remember we will remember the pre 2014 uh, india yeah but uh, the the gen z or whatever they mm. will the tiktokers they will not remember mm. uh, pre pre 2014 india yes so that will bite them back the new middle class who is being created bjp today a person who is today lower middle class will be middle class in let's say 5 10 years their children yeah. or their grandchildren are going to be pretty much i think very anti capitalism yeah. anti business everything yeah that's what happened that's what happened with west bengal as well right we were mm. a prosperous state we were california we were prosperous we had businesses oh san san yeah. you arms yeah we had to destroy everything that made us great hmm So yeah. the same thing will happen, but not right now. Thankfully, not right now. Yeah. And uh, one thing is one thing I'm hopeful about because I had predicted in 2019 when BJP lost five, uh, three or four Vidhan Sabhas, uh, the ones that it won back: Chhattisgarh, hmm. Madhya Pradesh, uh, you know, um, this thing. Um, Rajasthan. No, not Rajasthan. Rajasthan. Won back. Yeah. And it also lost. Yeah, Gehlot yeah. won. yeah um and all that happened hmm. i had predicted one thing 5 years of congress and people will again vote back the bjp yeah because you can't tolerate congress for more than 5 years once you've lived under the bjp hmm. and that's so, the, that's what's going to happen with karnataka as well i think next time yeah 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 a lot of thing. karnataka was internal sabotage just as west bengal thankfully they have they are slowly getting rid of that uh, the few elements that yeah. have done that Okay. But again, we, even with West Bengal, the same will happen. Once BJP is here, hmm. uh, then people will get more used to good governance. We have not seen good governance for fifty years. Hmm. Like none of us who grew up here have actually seen a proper government it at work. We have hmm. seen mafia dons, hmm. uh, or, or you know, Kim Sasta, Kim Jong Un, everything at work, except anything but a good government. Yeah. So perhaps that there is some ray of hope. Perhaps let's see. I need to answer two things in the live chat. Abhay is saying, but Gujarat still votes for the BJP. Yes, Abhay. It's again that issue of one small region with a co- with a with a cohesive, homogeneous culture. Those in those places, any ideology can work. Okay, unless you are absolutely corrupt like Congress. But in Gujarat, even Gujarat is basically a Nordic country, right? In terms of its economic policies, those things can work. But when one person, one chief minister or one prime minister is handling one one hundred forty crores, it's not the same as han- handling fifty uh, crores or or two crores. Okay, that's the reason uh, Gujarat is still very. Uh, no, I I must bring to attention a few developments that happened around uh, five or six years ago when uh, Hardik Patel and uh, all those people yeah. came up, Jigresh Mewani and mm. uh, all those people. Yeah, uh, BJP had its historical low. Hmm. at that time right. it was it won but it won 
uh, limped to the finish line if yes. i can put it that way. and yeah so uh, gujarat was on the verge of doing uh, stupid things but bjp played an even better game and therefore won it's it was because of no, their and, and here, skill set here is where where i would like to tell people why this manifesto is important again mm-hmm. gujarat mein the primary opposition is congress hmm. whose mlas like i said are basically living uh, rent free in the bjp basically when hmm. congress mlas matlab two crores away from joining bjp okay yeah but cpim mlas and mps will never join bjp if they if they are proper cpim mlas hmm. or mps yeah. cpim lawmakers they hate anything that is hindu they hate it by default so yeah. even like i said every vote that anyone casts for the cpim hmm. is actually a a greatest terror threat against hindus any hindu that is watching this show or any hindu that exists in this world hmm. so the cpim is much more dangerous than the congress ever was and cannot be bought off that is the best that is the worst part about them yeah gujarat is lucky did not have cpim that is the only thing hmm. now uh, okay another thing i want to respond to you is that he is saying uh, did you block me to comment on your comment section no i don't block anyone uh, unless you go on threatening me with violence you are not being able to see your comments because you ha- you'll have to click on newest comments only then are all comments visible it's it's a weird thing that youtube does we are not cpim yeah, yeah. and on live so, chat if your comments are not visible it means you gave some gali otherwise we are we are not against are visible. yeah we are not going to censor your speech yes. uh, because it is politically incorrect uh, anyway. okay one question is being asked to you a mystery sociologist uh, uh, yeah. jersey devil is asking but don't you think even if bjp comes in west bengal uh, projects will still go to gujarat only na karnataka also had bjp but projects were all going to gujarat and also assam is still underdeveloped yeah let me answer this first so first you have to because... first you have to take oh, yeah. care of law and order then you have precisely. to show that yes this is a good place that game had been already won by narendra modi narendra modi did not come one fine morning to power and immediately start calling all people he he lay the laid the groundwork so himantu bishwa sharma is now laying the groundwork bombay did not lay the groundwork ground, groundwork he was happy with whatever bengaluru was doing shubhendu udikari will have to become cm lay the groundwork handle all the all the gundas show people that yes i guarantee you there's going to be no tolabaji when when bjp comes to power after 3 4 years those things will come to fruition not immediately so yeah mr sociologist i i agree that uh, you know uh, the look at what modi achieved in gujarat he made it a stable place and karnataka mein to wahi hua na the moment bjp went away hmm. ye linguistic problems yeah. this that whatever water problems uh, kaveri river problem all these things emerged so you must understand that uh, karnataka still does not have the track record of gujarat in terms of yes. law and order yes and, and assam mein kaam ho raha hai assam is slowly developing i think they they just signed a, a semiconductor deal yeah. uh, say, producing semiconductors so assam is going there whether yeah. uh, we'll see something in the next 5 years maybe yeah you need to show the businessmen that your business will prosper here they are not going to take the risk and 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 get screwed up the, by the way tatas did in west bengal they trusted cpim to to protect their factory they could not no other indian businessman is going to take that risk ever again in in the next 100 years okay and they don't owe your state anything they will go go wherever they profit so your state will have to show them that yes they can profit as much as the they do in gujarat so that that trust factor is going to take a lot of time no this is this is interesting uh, i i like this question a lot because hmm. uh look at where the tatas invested right they invested in a state not because it is po- communist or socialist or whatever hmm. they invested in a state with a 30 30 year old government hmm. which was stable yes who had a facade of law and order under its control hai ki nahi wo alag baat hai hmm but they knew that party if the party is with me yeah. then i can get away with anything yes basically yeah now this this facade of law and order was there under mm. buddhadev bhattacharya mm. that's why the tatas yeah. decided to invest yeah that's why the american capitalists invested in ccp mm. they don't care about human rights and all yes. that and that's, they don't they're not supposed to care about all yeah. that they're supposed to care about profits mm. you have to see whether you get by uh, allowing them to profit in some way through your resources yes whether you are able to profit or not yes so the point here is the point i'm going to make again is that it's about the stability of the government 
that is what matters to any capitalist and that is best exemplified by gujarat hmm. of all the states in india hmm. even look at tamil nadu tamil nadu had a, a flourishing uh, copper factory right okay what happened to that they did environmental so called environmentalist protest there hmm. and now that factory was shut down and uh, that that mine was shut down and now it's in pakistan <laughs> we were caught copper exporters now we became importers nice and again adani is opening a copper mine in gujarat hmm. so as far as i have heard so now what happens see gujarat mein wo problem nahi hai environmentalist aayega to police peet ke bhaga dega so hmm. in tamil nadu west bengal karnataka maharashtra you might have somebody who asked for ye copper copper ko kannada bhasha mein nikalo west yeah, bengal yeah, mein aayenge yeah, yeah. to bhasha mein nikalo you only can engage bengali workers nobody else this kind of rubbish no capitalist will put up with think up think through that uh, lenses yeah ankit i asked yeah. ankit shah this question he said that ye chindigiri hum nahi karte hain now actually yes, I- uh, as a counter to your point uh, many uh, bengali pride uh, hindutvadis even will say that but then are you saying that there is no gujarat lobby why is it mysteriously adani ambani amit shah narendra modi running the country now we have that they they are running this country they are selling this country that they is apparently gujaratis so is it a gujarat lobby or is it just competence it's it's not about competence sometimes it's about you know shooting yourself in the foot when you had the chance so uh, like i say in under the cpim regime here hmm. how many bengali businessmen even came about nobody hmm. all were uh, you know uh, marwaris and gujaratis and punjabis yeah. here yeah they are running tollywood they are running yeah. the electricity supply yeah they are running uh, every whatever businesses are left in west bengal they are hmm. running those yeah so if gujarati lobby yahan pe kaha tha no modi and amit shah were nowhere in the picture here yeah so it's not about that it's not about competence it's sometimes you know even though if you are even if you are competent you do not have the support of hmm. the state hmm. yeah. to pursue your dreams yes or or your talents Yes. and that's precisely where gujarat provides that kind of an environment which is why they they will flourish yeah and we are playing a game of wins uh, play stupid games win stupid prizes so yeah. we are getting that fuck around and find out <laughs> yeah precisely <laughs> okay now before resuming the manifesto uh, we have two more interesting one interesting comment and one interesting question gujarat yeah. mein crime less hai because of alcohol ban and the second and the question is that is there any secret deal between bjp and tmc i would like you to respond to these two points gujarat mein so from what i understand uh, even in many foreign countries hmm. uh, there is no alcohol ban but hmm. the police are remarkably strong hmm. in their uh, you know yeah. exercise of power hmm. so look at singapore for example hmm. <laughs> um, it, it it does not have alcohol ban in fact people are pretty much have a very western lifestyle there they drink they hmm. party they booze they do all kind they even have rave parties if i'm not wrong but hmm. they don't do drugs they don't do hard drugs hmm. because that is prevented by the government at the cost of your life by the way hmm. number one number two is they enforce laws very strictly hmm. so if there's a death penalty they will give you a death penalty there are no exceptions aur wo 30 saal se biryani nahi khilenge tumko so thing is singapore can do it so it's not about alcohol it's about police you think gujaratis don't drink i'm pretty sure many of them get uh, you know black may uh, you know they get drinks hmm. i'm pretty sure yeah. it probably cost them extra as well but they can hmm. afford it hmm. number one pongs can't hmm. uh, number two is that they not only do that they are actually scared of the police and the law and order mechanism there hmm. which is why they don't do the stuff that people can do in west bengal so uh, a lot of you may not remember this there was a case where uh, uh, one of a very rich man hmm. was driving a mercedes or bmw and killed a killed an army officer who was yeah. uh, organizing a parade in calcutta they were practicing okay. for the republic day parade they were practicing for the republican day uh, republic day parade and hmm. what happened is the the a uh, young soldier got killed and mm. as far as i know the guy did not even get hanged or anything yeah okay this is the state of law and order in west bengal yeah so again same stuff that he is not about alcohol it's about law and order he is currently in jail right he got o- arrested from odisha about 5 3 4 days or 5 days later i think 
yeah and it, that's the thing unless you you actually enforce laws like singapore hmm. or something like that or or a, or a country and hmm. if you don't believe go to matt walsh's video on um, you know singapore why singapore is better than the us hmm. right <laughs> he has actually yeah. analyzed these things in detail yeah so uh, number one this yeah. is law and order yeah. uh, number two was bjp uh, whether bjp tmc yeah. have a deal hmm. i think they have a deal but not the kind of deal you would think hmm. they have a deal in that they might allow certain people to escape later hmm. uh if if they are handing bjp power hmm. so certain families might escape uh, judgment i see if if uh, bjp is able to come to power hmm. and frankly frankly that is all we need in west bengal right now yeah when has idealism ever worked in india idealism never works in west bengal it never works so wo chhod hi do ye cpm itna bade bade baat bol raha hai against surveillance all that, <laughs> everything they have written against cpm has actually itself done everything and this is the funnier thing that when cpm writes imagine if hitler gives you a, a lecture on human rights yes. okay it's like that that's the the irony of it the tragic irony of it that is the same thing that i feel when i see a manifesto like this by the yes. cpm literally everything they have written they have done the exact opposite of that when they were in power <laughs> yes. literally we can give uh, you know i think even nirajan can give a bunch of are are thoda upar jao yaar ye agnivir kya hua cruel agnivir scheme uh where uh, who is it by uh ye cpm no no not comments uh, cpm okay. manifesto i just noticed oh, okay, the okay. word up. okay cruel And, agnivir uh, oh yeah yeah this includes the manufacturing sector the public sector the private sector government sector there is a huge attack on the most productive workforce in its entirety even <laughs> recruitment in the armed forces critical for the country security are now being contractorized oh. with the cruel agnivir scheme it's so cruel agnivir scheme cool. is cruel oh my god they because, don't understand because uh, ganja <laughs> peene wala comic ko chance nahi milega na agnivir mein so it is, is certainly cruel where okay do we begin to criticize to... this Oh my when God. you have to, when you have to do, let's say, a obstacle course, <laughs> you know, with 10 kg bags, yeah, ganja pine wala komi to kar nahi payega, to mar jayega. Yeah. So it is very cruel. Yeah. No why have a competent, physically fit, disciplined youth who know something about military, but also have a corpus to start their own business? Why? Why shouldn't they again, just sit at home and complain? Again, I go back to Singapore. Singapore, uh, there is a rule where at the age of 18, you have hmm. to mandatorily join the army. Okay. For two years. Okay. And the same is in Korea, South Korea, yeah, and many other countries, hmm. which where where you know it is um, it is essential hmm. that the young people learn discipline by joining the army temporarily for two years. They get a small yeah. you know uh, uh, kind of stipend for that. Yeah, pe to two lakh rupee or something they are giving. Yeah. So not only do you learn discipline, hmm. you get a nice amount of money if you want to go into business. Yeah. or invest in the invest in shares or yeah. invest in a fd even yeah. so yeah you, you will be you basically get resources you will be starting and, your career uh, with basically a 10 12 lakh corpus ha huh, and not just that you get a i think you even get a uh, better j- chance at police forces and yeah. all that like you, you get a uh, advantage when you yes. want to join the police force or something how much more will the government do yeah I don't instead know, of like, instead of getting uh, former cricketers former former track and field athletes to join the police force because they were in sports one once upon a time it's better that they have some military training yeah 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 absolutely and and on this actually i'm very opposed to what singapore and south korea is doing actually bjp has done the best uh, of all worlds in this case they have incentivized patriotism and good behavior because when you mm-hmm. uh, force people to join the army if you are in any other profession let's say especially in sports athletics your career is absolutely screwed if you are disappearing for the for for 18 to 20 in in the middle of your career uh, there's a famous mma fighter called korean zombie who at the peak of his career had to quit mma and and go serve in the army that's absolutely stupid true, i think true, true 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 no i mean yeah that, that these these situations or you know if you have a very crucial exam or something yeah. i i understand if if your yeah. talent is not there so yeah, yeah precisely bjp you see modi ji modi nomics is hmm. superior hmm. because it it takes it it learns from other people's mistakes and makes right. its own you know judgments that yes. way yes yeah 
Okay, next, the CPIM so, stands yeah. for the inclusion of the right to work as a constitutional right. <laughs> <laughs> right to work. The vacancies in government and public sector posts must be filled urgently. Strengthen and expand MSMEs which can generate jobs. The budgetary allocations for MG <laughs> Anrega must be doubled. Uh, a new law jobs. guaranteeing urban employment must be legislated and an uh, unemployment allowance must be provided. <laughs> so incentivize being unemployed also create incentives for employment at the same time. The destruction of India's demographic dividend must be reversed through a change in current policies of job loss growth. Okay, so we are apparently in the, midi uh, in the middle of a destruction of India's democratic, uh, demographic uh, dividend. Ha, huh. and and the CPIM, which is full of uh, you know grey-haired dadus who themselves will never leave their posts till they die. These are the people who are who are praying that India's demographic dividend must pay off. Are bhai, ye... so you, you know one thing. This is very interesting. Look in the in the same paragraph, they have contradicted themselves four times. Okay. ये इन लोगों को पता ही नहीं इनको क्या चाहिए मतलब दे वांट अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट भाता दे आल्सो वांट जॉब्स दे वांट एवरीथिंग या दिस इज अ स्पॉइल्ड चाइल्ड आई वांट टू ईट दिस इज स्पॉइल्ड चाइल्ड पूरा आई वांट माय आई वांट ओरियो कुकीज एवरी डे 50 पैकेट्स ऑफ ओरियो कुकीज एंड आई विल आल्सो नीड सिक्स पैक एब्स But okay. also, I I think the taste of Oreo cookies actually suck. They need to change yeah. their taste as well. They need to change it up. They yes. need to make it more communist flavored, you know, <laughs> Stalin flavored. Strengthen the so, universal right to education. Stop privatizing of higher education. Ah, ये सब करके तो हमारा हम लोगों का education system पूरा बर्बाद हो गया. Now you have now you have sociology graduates who can't type uh, a letter properly or or even type one line of code. who are not useful to anyone so yeah. i used to do this exercise where a lot of people asked me about sociology and i told them that's fine but uh, if you and if they were owners of a small business or something or even a shop hmm. i would say okay uncle but um, yeah it's up to theek hai but would you employ a commerce graduate or a sociology graduate in your shop guess what the answer was <laughs> Yeah, मेरा मन uh, रखने के लिए बहुत लोग बोलते थे सोशियोलॉजी ग्रेजुएट्स कर आई वाज लाइक नो कॉमर्स गाइस आर लिटरली ट्रेन टू डू दिस स्टफ राइट या तुमने जो तीन साल में ग्रेजुएशन किया व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ योर डिग्री इन सोशियोलॉजी और फिलोसफी और हिस्ट्री व्हाट डू यू डू विद दैट डिग्री एक्सेप्ट सिटिंग फॉर एन एग्जाम व्हिच इज लाइक ब्रिटिश लोग बोले के रहते यस और वो भी तुम लोग लेट्स फेस वन फैक्ट लेस देन लाइक 1% पीपल गेट इट सो इफ 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 if i'm if if one, if one crore people are studying arts in in you know at the bachelor's level hmm. then less than 1 lakh are even getting jobs based hmm. on that skill hmm. so the yeah. investment of the government in these sectors is absolutely useless yes you may be artificial intelligence machine learning programming nursing Uh, agri agricultural you know uh, kind of studies these things must be you know uh, <clears throat> prioritized by a growing economy yeah actually logo ko ta wo bread nahi tha aa the profile aa from his he or she is from gujarat uh, he is mentioning a good point here that private education was increased because of reservation only that people felt the incentive to not to let go of this reservation bullshit and and just study on merit and and spend all your money in in private educations No, that is one definitely one big factor. The hmm. other factor is precisely what I mentioned. It's not necessarily always also reservation. Okay. Hmm. Now I yeah. am not pro reservation or even completely anti reservation. I have my hmm. own reservations in that matter. <laughs> my point is that um, the we have to take something into account. And after all, the schools are really bad. What's the point of talking about criticizing uh, convent schools, private schools, anything when your schools suck even today? precisely my point the the things you are being taught in school yeah. the particular schools you are going to they mm. all are horrible yeah compared to global or even sometimes here west bengal ke lor national standards we are much below mm. okay so it doesn't even matter whether it's privatization or 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 uh, it's it's reservations or not 
yeah. people will go to a private why why did let's say why did you or even i go to private english medium schools hmm. because the government english medium schools were not imparting the skills which we needed for the job market incidentally so parents, there are uh, one or two schools like south point south uh, or uh, jadavpur vidyapeeth who have uh, even a great english language curriculum but those are since their number is so low people like me who are who have never been that much into academics they will never make it <laughs> any any far along that road precisely, in south point or jadavpur precisely. vidyapeeth CPIM hates privatization so much of education that the highest privatization of education happened during its regime in West Bengal. Yeah, and English and English uh, uh, rapido English speaking course. Yeah. Um. फिर वो सब ये क्या बोले all these uh, Saint Tommy Saint Rocky hmm. uh, Saint this Saint that ये yeah. English medium schools खुल गए हाँ. Yeah. All this happened because of the CPIM's policies. Yeah. CPIM increased privatization of education simply by existing. Yes. Okay. The the, so, so. the convent schools got so popular around the uh, South Kolkata areas it, that we used to. Nineties, uh, yeah. Yeah, we joke. We used to joke with our uh, metalhead drummer who could not speak English at all, but he used to say that he went to some convent school apparently as an aspirational model. So we used to uh, <laughs> ask him that, did you go to Saint Boral Institute of Technology? And uh, <laughs> actually, the gap between. Other state schools versus West Bengal schools is not also not a factor. The the gigantic gap between schools like Lamarts and Saint Xavier's versus a normal government school is is insane. Precisely. And these Lamarts and Saint Xavier's, where are they going? Jyoti Basu's relative. Actually, uh, uh, in this issue, I dropper, these kind of things. Yeah. In this issue, I had heard a, a interesting uh, counter argument from a communist in my family. Uh, one of my friends mothers whose son studied in don bosco in kolkata which is obviously very very reputed school yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, from from park circus <laughs> oh it's a fa- communist family wow 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 yeah no no they are not communist uh, my my family she, she was having a debate with someone in my family so oh, okay. that friend's mother was telling uh, that relative in my family that i feel so sorry for these government school children they are every day going in and out coming out knowing nothing whereas my son has the is lucky enough to go to don bosco and know so many things that friend is a very qualified doctor today uh, so my, that relative in my family said what is the government to do uh, they are paying the teachers those teachers are not uh, teaching well so it's the fault of the students no accountability of the government yes so here is the whole problem of government employment ki tumhara koi incentive bhi nahi hai tumhara koi Uh, penalty bhi nahi hai if you don't perform you don't perish hmm. if you don't uh, do you know uh, well there is no reward if you do well even then there is no reward hmm. so at least in the us they actually give you grants if you um, you know if your school does well in the in the in the uh, regional exams and or state level exams to hmm. tumhare school ko aur paisa milega teachers get nice bonuses yeah. in their यहाँ पे तो वो भी नहीं है यहाँ पे यू वेदर यू आर पार्ट ऑफ सी पी एम यूनियन विल डिटर्मिन वेदर यू गेट योर नेक्स्ट यू नो प्रमोशन या That is what we got into a uh, small little bit of debate with our guest Shugato Hajra a few days back. I was advocating for for complete elimination of everything, anything uh, freebies, with of course legit points. He pointed out a great thing that the way to uh, solve that problem in at least teaching in government schools is that you incentivize better uh, teaching skills by increasing their salaries, giving them better better posts. You are not even incentivizing great teaching. In, instead, you have the instead you have give, given them job security for life. On the other hand, you want people to not go to private schools. How is this going to work? No, yeah, he to Oreo wala kid. Same yeah, thing. Yeah. I want everything. Right. I want six pack abs. I want yeah. Oreo all day and six pack abs. Yeah, same thing. Just, just pray to Santa Claus. And uh, <laughs> a few days back, uh, on on that on that reputed news portal called MoneyControl. dot com, someone wrote a critique opinion piece of Sanjeev Sanyal's views of uh, Bengali uh, intellectuals. Okay, so mm. uh, someone uh, tagged uh, tagged me on Twitter to read this. So I I saw it's a, it's written by a non Bengali guy. It says that Sanjeev Sanyal is very being very unfair, etc. And he said that. Uh, he gave sort of a uh, an analytic and an analysis and critique of different cities that he said that mumbai is too mercantile but kolkata has soul that was his basically core point that kolkata has something Ooh. which we can't really put a finger on so i checked as you can guess that i checked where is this <laughs> author of this ar- article from problem. he is f- based out of new delhi ah uh, which is the like 
মানে considering that the cm was doing a nice you know entrepreneurial stuff a few days ago yeah delhi is even more entrepreneurial than mumbai in yes. some ways so uh, yeah precisely when i i just tell people you want to experience socialism in its west best form you just come to calcutta hmm. and stay here tum tum bahar reh ke tumko to acha hi lagega coffee house pictures park street pictures hmm. in black and yeah. white তো <laughs> so beautiful absolutely. that shows you how keen an observer sanjeev sanyal is for details how well he knows these people by the way somebody wrote in the comments that uh, kya rk mission se government schools are better uh, jersey wow. devil actually proper proper government schools are better than private like rk mission and all which is that proper school i guess he means jadavpur vidyapeet yeah i mean this is this is like if you have you like this is a, do you even lift bro that i'm having that kind of me have you ever actually been to a uh, government school in west bengal or forget west bengal tum koi bhi koi gaon ka ekdam remote area ka government school dekhe ho kya and and i have seen actually even private schools in remote areas even they try somewhat because their you know their very existence depends on the them performing even even jadavpur vidyapeet is not fully government i i studied there for 4 years when i was very young uh, we used to pay yeah. salary of about 100 rupees per month or per year or something it was not completely free no no of course and not just that there will be the one or two government schools that will be great of course yeah. but that does not mean uh, so here's the thing uh, there has been research on uh, the existence of mediocre private english medium schools hmm. okay but the fact is that even those schools impart better uh, skills to their uh, better speaking and reading skills hmm. to their students compared to majority of the government schools hmm. so if there are a 100 government schools perhaps one or two of them will be efficient and better hmm. that too if they are in urban areas yeah 95 to 98 of them will be horrible or yeah. varying degrees of horrible yeah whereas in a private school you have some options particularly with the expansion of the market yeah you have many mm-hmm. options and your ch- you will try to put your child in one of the better ones whenever you get the you know opportunity hmm. so and and amongst them even there are actually there there is a desire among parents to actually squeeze because they are giving a lot of money yes they yes. have a desire to squeeze the m- most of the benefits they can out of that money that huh. they are paying yes the, exactly you know whereas the government school may even if they try they will not get the benefits yeah exactly if so they, if there they are lack accountability government government schools, the ratio of how many work will be yeah. vastly different yeah from each other and uh, i wanted to uh, uh, staying on this topic for of uh, government educating and and government teaching useless things uh, have you ever taught in any village colleges what do you think of teaching sociology in villages <laughs> I used to be a glorified translator in one of them so I basically I used to translate sociological theory in in colleges that's all yeah I've taught in some colleges hmm. and my job was not to teach my job was to translate why and basically basically because most people in in who who my taught did not understand english okay and could not read english and now i don't hold that against them because yeah, of course uh, they did not attend english medium schools yeah the problem lay elsewhere the problem was that um they they wasted 3 or 4 years of their lives doing all this yes if they pursued the whole thing many of them dropped out because mm. they saw it was useless for their lives yeah and what the government did was the government paid me a even by west bengal standards they paid me a decent salary mm. but um even then it was a complete waste of that resource right it was yeah. a complete waste of a person yeah could have taught much better given better quality students exactly or or interested students at yeah. at any rate uh, 
hmm. and students would benefit from the education I was imparting. So yeah. it was a complete sham when I hmm. taught in the government, hmm. uh, and and it 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 was a it was heartbreaking for me because these people are essentially wasting their time and effort. Hmm. Yeah, and they will never get anything out of that degree. That degree is a worthless. That degree is toilet paper at this point. Yeah, and he, even it's not a problem for him. He doesn't have a problem if he fails sociology or, or at least gets low marks in sociology because he is in the end preparing for WBCS or UPSC. Yeah, or many of them actually did some more sensible stuff. Like many of them went for pharma, many mm. of them went for nursing, many I of see. them went for uh, you know some computer programming courses, other stuff like. So why did they do the? Was it was were those courses for only for uh, for post grads? No, no, no. So many of them even left midway. Like like oh. if a, if students joined in a year, yeah, in a certain college. Then uh, by the end of the first year, uh, only five or six or ten of them would have been left. Ten, yeah. if it's a good number. Yeah. Okay. So there's a very very high dropout rate in mm. in in government colleges. Yeah. And then there's reservation as well. Here. Yeah, and that too. And and honestly, it doesn't even matter. Like I said, because people want skills. They know the market is looking for skills. Hmm. And they will acquire skills. They went to other places. They spent two, three lakh rupees and got trained in an actual skill yeah. in the pharma industry or something, which has actual real life applications, by the way. Yeah. And or computer programming or yeah, kuch bhi. Yeah. And basically, uh, you know, hmm. uh, it, it's meant for it's meant to prepare you for the future. Yeah. So that's what they did with their actual hard earned money. They often joined colleges because they got twenty five k from some 25 or 10k or something from the government as so called quote unquote scholarship which every when when everyone gets a scholarship is not a scholarship it's a dole out hmm. so they got this stuff and um that's how that's why they joined these colleges these colleges are basically absolutely worthless hmm. many of the rural colleges even even urban colleges many of them yeah and and absolutely this by the way, guys, at 4 p.m. on Friday, me and uh, Mr. Sociologist are going to host Professor Salvatore Babones discussing these very topics that whether sociology should be defunded or not, reforming humanities academia. So re remember that it starts at 4 p.m. because he's he lives in Australia, so we have to do it pretty early. Uh, but there also we'll have to ask him these same things. These hard questions. Yeah. And he's, uh, the, he's one of the few people who are still doing proper sociology, by the way. Exactly. Uh, so respect. Hashtag Interestingly, respect. Uh, when when he basically said the fox among in the hen house of commies uh, one two years back, when he said that basically India's intellectuals are the anti-India people who are feeding the anti-India data to those surveys and indices. It's not yeah, really yeah, yeah. the fault of the indices. Then yeah. at that moment, all the all the commies and anti-India people, anti-Hindu people, all of a sudden uh, put up their nationalist credentials and said that. Who are you to <laughs> say? How do you even know about India? You are a white man from the distant land, mystical land of Australia. You don't know anything about our society. Even though until that day itself, Shekhar Gupta, Rajdeep Sardesai, all of these people were, whenever they needed to discuss any data about India, they would usually go to Salvatore Babones' research only. He is a credentialed India expert for, for about a decade now. <laughs> no, no, the interesting thing is they can't tell him chance pe dekha. Jala yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they can't tell him that bhai tera, tera degree is useless okay oh they can't yeah tell him that so now you see the first thing commies will do is they will say uh oh where is your degree from yeah. or no, no, yeah. you know or do you even have a degree right yeah. <laughs> so yeah first line of defense hai. Toh nahi hoga. Salvatore Bamones is teaching in one of the best universities in the world he's one of the yeah. most accomplished sociologists in the world so what is the next step hai ki, uh, uh, you know defend Race. against what he said but he's a he's a statistical genius yeah so you can't even do that yeah stats se nahi hoga. Or, or to stats nahi padte because they are all arts graduates they don't even they wouldn't know proper mathematics if it hit the if if, if Arya Bhatta <laughs> stabbed them in the face uh, okay so they don't know how to counter his stats okay yeah. so third option or uh, lock kiya jai, wo hai ki we are actually you know uh, patriots yeah, yeah. and you're a white guy yeah wow uh, while they work for somebody like Sonia Gandhi, who's actually also white and has done stuff against this country, even the British wouldn't dare to do. She okay. is, I guess, morally naturalized citizen of India. Ha, bhai, tumko to. 
खैर छोड़ो ओ दैट दैट मनुवादि कॉमी ऑन ट्विटर आल्सो सेड टू मी दैट दैट फेमस सेंटेंस एज़ वेल ही सेड दैट रीड सम बुक्स इंस्टेड ऑफ रैंडमली कोटिंग थिंग्स दैट हैपेंड इन वेनेजुएला क्यूबा एटसेट्रा एंड ही सेड दैट ऑफ कोर्स वेस्ट बंगाल मत लाओ हर टॉपिक में ही सेड दैट क्यूबा वेनेजुएला वेस्ट बंगाल नन ऑफ दीस एग्जांपल्स शुड बी ब्रॉट इन those those uh, fake books in the behind you those are fake right like those are just wooden boxes yes uh, so fine no problem we'll read we'll read i am not against reading yeah uh, let's read more yeah. yeah cpim stands for an increase to at least 6% of gdp in budgetary allocations for education it stands for a reversal of the policies of commercialization communalization centralization strengthen federalism wow. defend rights of states acha where where did communalization of education happen because they eliminated gujarat rights from from the syllabus or aryan no, invasion okay. theory they unko abba ji chale gaye na mane uh, <laughs> aurangzeb and all that that yeah, yeah. these were moved or something right uh, so of course uh, aurangzeb playing the veena is a very important uh-huh. part of the the narrative that uh, indians must learn yes uh, so of course it is a communalization commercialization to वैसे भी उन्होंने बर्बाद कर दिया वो छोड़ो yeah centralization now this is very interesting um uh, when the cpm talks about centralization of education you you would know that ssc jo hai in west mm-hmm. bengal I'm talking about school service commission. Hmm. Uh, was highly centrally regulated the transfers and everything. Okay, these were all centrally regulated yeah. by the CPI. Yeah. Before that, this was not the case. Till the Congress era, the people often the teachers were taken on the basis of their credentials by the schools locally. Hmm. The quality of education they imparted was much better. Hmm. Strangely. Right. The CPI actually came and centralized all all transfers through Cal. Okay, so a lot of you don't know. in government schools uh, in government colleges and even schools if i am not mistaken you know how uh, transfer zones are marked no they are marked as a b c d okay okay a point is calcutta hmm. b is uh, 100 km from calcutta okay. c is 200 km from calcutta d is 400 km from calcutta so calcutta ko center bana ke ye log actually transfer you know people hmm. so do you understand how racist kind of this is like calcutta is the center of everything hmm. based on that you serve the government hmm. literally ye log na like problem hai ki i know too much about them that is the problem sometimes so because i'm like a, i'm like a virologist i study this virus for a very long time so i know all their problems right so yes yes centralization in logon ne itna barbaad kar diya na education ko they have ruined it so much and they have forcefully implemented their policies on various government schools so i've even heard stories where you know um, teachers uh, after they abolished english in schools many teachers who used to teach english separately hmm they bolte the ki okay theek hai government syllabus is there but i'll teach you english nonetheless okay hmm. because english is a relevant skill hmm they used to crack down on some teachers transfer them and do show causes to them okay Because right. they did not want so centralization or surveillance, the stuff they are talking against, they have done so much about it. And this six percent GDP in budgetary allocation is of complete rubbish, which basically means open liberal arts everywhere. Ah, huh. six percent of the budget for what? So that our union people can benefit from more uh, money. Ah, huh. mm. why? Yeah. So what? The government spending on education is overrated. Honestly, yes. Government spending cannot. is never subject to oversight proper oversight hmm or 6% of gdp ka kon oversight rakhega some commie sitting in delhi no no some, never... some bureaucrat who really worked hard for the exams yeah who memorized uh, lord cornwallis's father's de- death certificate <laughs> i don't care the point is that uh it doesn't matter what what how much money you allocate if you're allocating it to poisonous beings you can't expect a productive education policy yeah there should be a nice the, so the government can do two things the government can open primary schools but quality must be emphasized ye log har bar quantity pe emphasize karke bhugatte hain they rather they make everyone else suffer yeah because education is a pursuit of excellence whether you like it or not any level of any any kind of educational pursuit is somewhat a 
excel a pursuit for excellence in, at some level okay hmm. so if you are if you are disinvesting that uh, you know a, a pursuit for excellence then you are disinvesting the whole process of its existence so yeah. if you tell people that there is no pass or fail till class 8 which has happened in west bengal thanks to socialism then you are telling them you don't need to work hard in schools and learn basic skills that will save your life in the later parts of your you know existence yeah this is that same exact same logic they used to to stop teaching english which is that we need to incentivize people staying in schools at any cost at any cost is the problem precisely precisely education is just like any skill english bolo maths bolo and it must be incentivized through reality through through realistic means yeah and if somebody cannot own up to it they should be given something else to do yes why why education screw up the entire system in the process yeah yeah and 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 uh, in american schools as far as i know they teach woodworking they teach computer programming they teach you 10 things you may not be a history buff hmm tumko yaar kyu history padhna hai yeah what will you do? Th- those and trade convert, schools somebody who's a history buff yeah can take it up in the future yes if they want right yeah. those but trade schools actually uh, actually create uh, uh, better employees uh, plumbers etc and they get paid way more than actually his uh, liberal arts professors yeah. in general in usa but not in india because we pay them anyway regardless of whether you teach or not whether you have anyone to teach or not and yeah, therefore the Lavanya west from south delhi will uh, earn less in america actually yes she will spend uh, crores on her ms and uh, bachelor's degree only to get a small um, analyst job in some company and earn 60k a year yes <laughs> in the us whereas <laughs> sam who works in works as a janitor will earn mm, 200k absolutely. every year yeah <laughs> actually so, yeah. and and his and his his investment is like less than maybe yeah. uh, 50k in his yeah. education and, so, and this uh, centralization question brings to my mind uh, some one comment i received two days back he is again a bengali pride regionalist uh, hindutvadi he said yeah, he was criticizing me uh, he criticized sure. me for saying that uh, kolkata is colonizing the rest of west bengal i have a video called kolkata is, is uh, west bengal is a colony of kolkata so i yeah, was yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. Uh, in that context i was talking about specifically pronunciations how if you don't uh, write bengali uh, exactly the way you pronounce in kolkata you won't even Precisely. pass your bengali grammar exam so he said that Precisely. this is a bullshit argument every language has a standard dialect or standardized dialect so i said that who who decided that standardized dialect what was kolkata before yeah. the british came in If, whatever you yeah, are yeah, declaring yeah. to be a standard dialect wh- you, whatever your claims to being the art and culture capital of the country the world whatever the fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. all happened because the british chose this place not even for any goodness of the people here only because it was yeah. close to the sea and river it was nice yeah, place yeah, yeah, to yeah. Like, nice spot to be it's yeah, completely yeah, yeah, unearned absolutely. and and look at it this way uh the centralization the worst aspect of any kind of centralization has always been a uh, a uh, a uh, kind of ignorance of the broader uh, the the more region the 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 different regions right the invisibilization of the broader, broader region yeah I, i no look at it this way like like purulia okay mm. purulia has been you have 34 years of communism 10 years of whatever the crap tmc is okay look at purulia people don't get basic forget purulia purulia to chhod hi do unka to halat hi bahut kharab hai look at how the people of sandesh khali are living do you have you seen the people they have to actually walk i saw 75 year old man hmm. somehow <laughs> walking 2 kilometers just for basic plain drinking water hmm ah at kolkata mein tum jao kabhi kabhi pura tap khula rehta hai sara din ha yeah so my point is you talk about centralization not just language not just linguistically hmm. which is again hmm. oppressive hmm. because you force nepali people to come here in calcutta when you transfer them to learn bangla hmm. so that is another problem you are oppressing them you are oppressing people from purulia jhargram uh, 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 you know other parts of west bengal south chobish pargona yeah. uh, krishnanagar you are forcing them to learn a calcutta uh, special version of bangla yeah and not just that look at the roads look at the infrastructure of the rest of west bengal yeah and Tune actually stalin ka statue chhod ke kya banaya nondon aur stalin ka stalin lenin ka statue chhod ke kya banaya tum log 
what do you think of the argument that unless they learn that proper kolkata bengali they won't get any jobs even in wbcs can that be an argument no oh, what is the point of that argument why that is my whole point that if if you are see by that logic we should have uh, exams in english right because at least english jo bolte hai wo, wo closer to being standardized compared to the bangla or hindi or or whatever yeah. uh, regional languages we have right no so, only for the wbcs exams or for any government exam or for west bengal's government exams which is a wbcs exam so unless you know, unless you know the proper kolkata bangla which would be also the counter argument against the urdu inculcation in in the same exams yeah unle- the the biggest problem here is that again the the children of the cpm leaders keep benefiting yeah if you hold on to that that uh, you know that uh, dogma of of enforcing the kolkata standard on everyone hmm. the same manner in which you enforce your bengali identity uh, in in bangla pakko people do that on on other people yeah. other people don't mind hindi imposition uh, imposition we nahi bol sakte hindi inculcation other people don't mind in the villages many people talk in hindi yeah okay who are bengalis born bengalis bigger mm. bengalis than gorgo and his dogs will ever be but the point is that these people will disregard those people completely hmm the yeah. greatest genocide of bengalis happens less than 50 kilometers away from calcutta hmm. in in a you know eastwards and they never talk about the bengali genocide because it is happening in the in their favorite country hmm in the whole world कहीं यूपी में कोई नॉनवेज नहीं मिला उनको बहुत दुख हो गया हाँ और नवरात्रि यू हैव टू इट नॉन वेज दो तुमको ये ये मतलब बहुत ऑपरेसिव लग गया पीपल आर एक्चुअली सेवन हंड्रेड पीपल एस्केप एवरी डे फ्रॉम बांग्लादेश डिस्पाइट बींग बेंगोली स्पीकर बेंगोलीज हु आर बोर्न एंड ब्रॉट अप इन दैट रीजियन एंड हुज एंसेस्टर्स आर बेंगोली यू यू हैव you have um, you know you you see them escape every day you completely deny that reality this is the this is the problem this is the this is my problem with regional regional pride uh, bengali hindutvad is that they still haven't understood the concept of incentives they think that okay even that that code that bangla ke gujarat hote debo na it's only in terms of culture you see we don't want gujarati culture here are bhai kya gujarati culture aayega yahan pe what is the gujarati culture that you are trying to avoid first and foremost business and and being religious if that comes what's your problem and secondly Oh, how is your going, go, your language going to be saved if you don't remain here if you go to live in bengaluru and learn kannada kannada how is your language getting helped so only thing you are doing is preventing and and giving an impression of your state being racist which is a turn off for businessmen no ye bangla ke gujarat hote debo na it sounds a lot like if rajpal yadav se is rajpal ke john abraham hote debo na ha so it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't matter if if rajpal yadav wants to be john abraham or not because he can't be john abraham <laughs> he, he doesn't so so bengal can't be gujarati yaar tumse nahi ho tumse na ho payega beta someday uh, soon someday soon ho jayega ho jayega yeah Maybe. just make sanjeev sanyal the, the dictator supremo of west bengal and then then see what happens are shubendu sahi ho jayega don't Yes. don't have to disturb mr sir let him write more stories about like the one he wrote wonderful yeah. <clears throat> anyway let's move on with this wonderful document the cpim stands for an oh ye to ho gaya thankfully ye to ho gaya defend rights of states federalism ye we have discussed earlier yeah. so let's move on to something fiscal new. federalism okay next cpim stands for the restoration of the constitutional rights of the states which have been severely diluted by the modi government the cpim stands for devolution of 50% of the total collection of central taxes to the states including share of surcharges and cesses levied by center it stands for a governor to be chosen out of a panel of three eminent persons proposed by the chief minister for an end to policies which promote centralization at the expense of the states ah ha ha imagine this situation in west bengal उनियन ऑफ स्टेट वेर 
we are unitary in in spirit and yeah. federal in structure yeah pura the, so there's another reason why they are all for the love of the state which they were never for in uh, ccp and uh, ussr there is a reason because waha pe karenge to bambu ho jayega so uh, you know basically ye log in logo ko maloom hai ki ye log regional party hi rahenge imagine the, the day cpm comes to power in the center <laughs> imagine the state rights then they will <laughs> tap your phones they will they will implement uh, state sponsored facebook whatsapp google everything <laughs> which will glitch every 2 minutes ha huh. neerajan ko to pehle pakad ke le jayenge they yeah, are, they will okay. do voice identity they will do use pegasus software to find me out okay <laughs> they will put me in jail beside him bhagat singh ke jaise ta- taang denge hum logo yeah theek hai to uh, next will be um, what was states union of states nahi rahega yeah because it will be one centralized yes. complete red country okay yeah. where everyone will either speak bengali or everyone will either speak you know malayali yeah no other language will be allowed okay yeah ye sab ho jayega yeah so yeah i i i want to see people you know who vote for cpim they are a rare breed now yeah but it's interesting those people the cpim stands for a law for reservations in the private sector <laughs> and for immediate filling of vacancies in reserve posts without dilution for protection of constitutional and legal rights of adivasis and an end to cultural assimilation end to cultural assimilation eh? what that I... okay so no I... standardized dialect okay no assimilation they are taking the flip side of this argument in order to acquire proper data on the obcs in the country it is necessary to conduct a caste census along with the 2021 general census that is overdue it stands for uh, the immediate implementation of one third reservations for women for strengthening processes of justice for women victims of crime not for men victims of crimes because we are protected we are superhuman ye ye log uh, in 2021 they said no in nrc no npr and all that no population registry and uh, no no uh, uh, you know kya bole usko census yeah they were against technically the census because they knew that census se bahut kuch nikal jayega which they did not like or uh, again private sector see again the same old rubbish same crap okay hmm. um acha somebody sent a uh, this thing super chat yeah he saying so, see you can discuss things the amazing part is the more minority appeasement manifesto you see with more parties more the minority votes divide yes yes absolutely and and this is this is what what's so interesting about the caste census so why i and this i was kind of proven right when when bjp did really well in north indian states hmm. that um the caste census actually made a huge mistake uh, the congress made a huge mistake through the caste census hmm. because imagine let's say you allocate so tumne census kiya hmm. theek hai now every caste in north india and even south india inflates its numbers hmm. so let's say a dominant caste like the yadavs they are 13 point something percent in 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 bihar hmm. they will claim we are 25 percent okay yeah abhi proper census to kiya hai hmm. then it comes out that you are 13 point something percent yes so now what happens is they are no longer that so called dominant caste and unko wo nahi milega they yeah. can't claim to be as dominant as they were yeah the only the only category that emerges properly out of any caste census is the muslims hmm. okay because their growth rate is much higher hmm baki sab caste ka population ghata hai yeah and also because of a better distribution of resources by uh, under modi ji hmm i even the lower caste the 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 schedule castes and all have a higher now uh, less infant mortality so possibly higher rate of growth hmm. so possibly what is happening is and this is a possibility this will only be proven after a proper census hmm. that lower castes are actually able to challenge dominant castes yeah. in terms of their numbers so hmm. caste census will actually piss off a lot of people yeah actually the okay. day rahul gandhi first mentioned this 
that same very day kushal mehra in his live stream with i think sham sharma said that let them do it it's going to backfire com- them on them completely it's it's a very pro bjp move that they are going to end up doing precisely precisely <laughs> precisely and and uh, i too thought about it because uh, you know as a person who teaches sociology i have to think about caste yeah. and i actually figured that something like this would happen and it did happen by the way because hmm. every caste ended up claiming that uh, bhai we did not get represented we did because yeah. everyone wants higher representation na yeah and nobody has it anymore nobody mm-hmm. has that one dominant caste which is 40 30% of the population nobody has it yeah. aur bahut in, internal migration ho raha hai ye ho raha hai you can't have a like ekdam stable wo feudal wo ancient structure wahan pe bhi migration hota tha by the way mm-hmm. so yeah. it doesn't matter this caste census bullshit which will which will completely backfire if done properly so let's see what bjp does so jitni abadi utna haq uh, does cpim follow it in their party structure uh here's the fun thing i don't know why you're smiling because we we spoke about this in the past if that was the case then most then at least 25% of cpim leaders would have been dalit <laughs> in west bengal because west bengal has a 23% dalit population okay which is the second highest in the country the highest is in punjab i see ye kya hua tha because of partition a lot of people came yeah. either from either side so hmm. the dalit population is very high in punjab and west bengal yeah so the if the cpim wanted to represent everyone as per their caste hmm. then it would have 25% dalit representation in west bengal's district state and uh, and local committees yeah yeah that is okay. my point here because they are saying that law for reservations in the private sector doesn't cpim qualify as a private organization why isn't there yeah, reservation it's a political party but which is completely full of brahmins or yeah. whatever brahmin surnames unko yeah. brahmin to nahi bol sakte because they are not actually brahmins yeah uh, but brahmin surname wala log and yeah. they have they have the highest representation in the party anyway yeah जितनी आबादी उतना हक बाय दैट लॉजिक तो दे शुड बी लेस देन 5% इन द होल पार्टी यस राइट एंड व्हाट व्हाट डू यू थिंक ऑफ रिजर्वेशंस इन प्राइवेट सेक्टर इट्स अ स्टूपिडेस्ट थिंग टू एवर बी रेज्ड बाय एनीवन आई थिंक नीतीश कुमार कीप सेइंग इट एवरी 2 इयर्स एंड सीपीआईएम कीप सेइंग इट हियर देयर देयर ओन चिल्ड्रन एक्चुअली यू नो द फनी थिंग देयर ओन चिल्ड्रन वर्क इन फॉरेन कंपनीज इन फॉरेन लैंड्स या सो दे आर नेवर गोइंग टू बी अफेक्टेड बाय Yeah. Any job losses in the private sector in India. Arre, this is As what any any anti-capitalist, anti-free market p- person doesn't understand. Whatever threat you think you can give to the government, they can give you one better, which is I'll leave your state, I'll leave your country, I'll go. Your children will go with me. The poorest, the middle class, the lower middle class won't go. They will stay uh, and suffer. Why don't you see what happens in Karnataka if they take their uh, linguistic thing too far? Yeah, yeah, Karnataka exactly. Karnataka might become Bihar in Bihar in ten years. You don't yeah. know. Yeah, and especially it's unlikely right now. Those Karnatikas are not understanding that Hyderabad is just nearby. Uh, I am huh. seeing in libertarian groups uh, who who live in uh, Hyderabad. They are saying that yes, yes, please do this uh, Karnataka pride oh. thing more. We are happy. Hyderabad will prosper uh, prosper I think even, even faster. Gurgaon is one of his problems because of this. Because Gurgaon implemented some jat uh, quota or something or I see, yeah, uh, yeah. Haryanvi quota or something. Yes. And, and ye gurgaon ka jo growth story hai wo noida kha lega same yeah, story absolutely yogi ji is just waiting yogi ji is like bhai aao kabhi up mein uh. <laughs> that's the same thing with us as well you don't uh-huh. have any business you are doing it see what Odi- odisha does to you you will have precisely. to go to odisha for jobs now precisely okay next point is cpim stands for urgent electoral reforms to curb the use of money power in the electoral <laughs> system <laughs> <laughs> for this the party wants state funding of elections and a ban on corporate donations to political parties nice corporates must fund to strengthen democracy and such contributions must be credited in a state electoral fund and used for state funding so uh, cpim does not want private funding all of a sudden because it doesn't get it yeah because ye ye kya hua na agar some some dude some incel complains about johnny sins getting too much you know It's the CPIM complaining about BJP. It sounds like the same thing. Yeah, Johnny Sins के पास हर लड़की क्यों जाती है? So CPIM is like, यार भाई, यार उसमें क्या है जो मुझ में नहीं है BJP में? लड़की लोग ही खराब है. 
women are bad yeah. because they don't see cpim's great power okay yeah pim gets donations from dmk which gets donation from some black market companies i see okay so ye ye alag baat hai they don't need electoral bonds because nobody actually nobody no capitalist in their right minds will give them electoral bonds yeah now so, just few up until few years back they were the third richest party in the country and when anna hazare was actually talking about uh, showing showing pure complete hisab kitab of your donations they said that no 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 we can't do this bjp cpm were united in this back then cpm said see we take donations only in front of metro stations and ashutosh college how can we yeah, uh, yeah, document yeah. everyone that's why they have a corpus of 10000 crore rupees which is private wealth by the way which they have not de- redistributed among anyone uh, let alone their own poor party workers ye inka na bahut ye i tell you sometimes i read their stuff and i'm like ye khud ko nahi dekhte ka aine mein this is what is this genius <laughs> are jammu kashmir wow, wow. real 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 mirror has not been installed in the houses of uh, top communists make make mirrors great again <laughs> make mirrors great again the cpim's continuing commitment to the autonomous status granted by section uh, uh, 370 of jnk is reflected in its using every fora to defend the rights of the people <laughs> of jammu and kashmir the cpim stands for immediate elections to the state assembly and also for the restoration of full statehood as a first step okay No, this is nice. This is nice. Let's see how many seats the CPM gets if there is a full-fledged election <laughs> in Jammu Kashmir. Yeah. Oh, oh, yellow guy. They have apparently said in the manifesto that they will uh, legalize uh, LGBTQ marriages. Oh, nice. Same-sex marriages. <clears throat> so, great. I am thinking how they will do that in Art- Article Three Seventy, wala Jammu Kashmir. <laughs> okay, so lesser kids for for communists. Isn't that a beautiful world to live in? Hmm. Ha. But that's that's good. Anyway, they are not having kids. They do. Yeah. Kanja Pukki, sab khatam kar diya. Okay. So, foreign policy. CPM's foreign policy. Abandonment of <laughs> yeah, India's yeah, independent yeah. foreign policy. What the fuck does this sentence mean? <laughs> Eki. तो तो अरे ये तो ये तो अलग ही लेवल का रुचा हो गया सीक्रेट बोल दिया ये तो जोर जोर से स्कीम बता दिया फॉरेन पॉलिसी नहीं चाहिए चाइनीस फॉरेन पॉलिसी चाहिए या बट ओके लेट लेट्स रीड दिस द बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट हैज टोटली सरेंडर्ड टू यूएस स्ट्रेटजिक ओह ओके दे आर सेइंग दैट इंडिया हैज अबैंडनड इट्स इंडिपेंडेंट फॉरेन पॉलिसी दे आर नॉट सेइंग दैट इंडिया शुड डू ओह अच्छा अच्छा मैंने ओह आई थॉट आई थॉट दे आर अगेंस्ट मतलब इतना भी नहीं बोलना चाहिए इतना भी सीक्रेट जोर जोर के बोल बोल के सबको स्कीम बता दो ये नहीं द बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट हैज टोटली सरेंडर्ड टू यूएस स्ट्रेटजिक पॉलिटिकल एंड सिक्योरिटी डिजाइंस ओके ओके ओह व्हाट न्यूज़ दे रीड एंड टू स्ट्रेंथन यूएस इंपीरियलिज्म आ हा हा व्हाट वाज दैट टर्म ইম্পেরিয়ালিজমের বাংলাটা কি জানো যেটা সব সময় বলা হয় আরে ইভেন আই এম ফরগেটিং ইয়ার এ সিপিএম লোক রোজ বলতে থাকে মার্কিন মার্কিন আই আই ফরগট এই ইম্পেরিয়ালিজম কা বেঙ্গলি কি হয় এন্ড টু স্ট্রেংথেন ইউএস ইম্পেরিয়ালিজমস ডিজাইনস ফর গ্লোবাল হেজিমনি দ্য মোস্ট সাম্রাজ্যবাদ মার্কিন সাম্রাজ্যবাদ মার্কিন সাম্রাজ্যবাদ গ্রাফিক এভিডেন্স ইজ দ্য শেমফুল স্ট্যান্ড অফ দ্য মোদি गवर्नमेंट ইন রিফিউজিং টু ডিমান্ড এন্ড আনকন্ডিশনাল সিজ ফায়ার টু স্টপ দ্য জেনোসাইডাল ওয়ার अगेंस्ट দ্য পিপল অফ প্যালেস্টাইন আচ্ছা রাশিয়া নিউজ ইগনোরড ইট হ্যাজ সাইডেড উইথ দ্য জায়নিস্ট गवर्नमेंट ব্যাকড বাই দ্য ইউএস ইটস ডিফেন্স টাইজ উইথ ইসরায়েল এন্ড ইটস আর্মস ট্রেড ইজ আ ব্ল্যাক রেকর্ড ফর আওয়ার ট্র্যাডিশনাল সাপোর্ট টু দ্য স্ট্রাগল ফর আ হোমল্যান্ড বাই দ্য প্যালেস্টিনিয়ান পিপল इवन দো উই আর সেন্ডিং এড টু প্যালেস্টিনিয়ান পিপল হু উইল জাস্ট গ্রো আপ টু কিল মোর ইসরায়েলিস US imperialism continues to cement India as a subordinate ally in its strategic designs in the Indo-Pacific region. Why? Because we are poor. We are poor because of communist policies. <laughs> policies. India has speak. become a strategic defense partner signing agreements of strategic military cooperation. Okay, that's apparently a bad thing. The Quad has been converted into an active strategic and military alliance in the Indo-Pacific region. When was the last Quad meeting? US Israel India axis is consolidating. Okay, that's a bad thing apparently. India has abandoned <laughs> its traditional leadership role of the non-alignment move. India has a, we had a Arre, traditional leadership. Are you non-alignment? Abhi tak chal raha hai. Ye cold war khatam ho gaya. Abhi tak non-alignment chal raha hai. Ye to ajeeb hai. We had a, apparently had a traditional leadership role of the non-alignment move movement. Since Modi became PM, he did not attend a single NAM summit for the for the first time. Ye Jyoti Vasu attend kare. Oh, Jyoti Vasu to mar gaya. Sorry. For the first time, the Indian PM went. 
on a state visit to Israel without visiting Palestine kahe these developments are having serious consequences for relations with our neighbors and india's international standing okay this is creating problems with india's neighbors okay there was no problem before modi came to power no i mean uh, you see the neighbors they are actually worried about are having a problem with modi which is yeah. pakistan and <laughs> bangladesh and china they are actually worried you don't understand the sentiment behind these thoughts right so um yeah we've surrendered to the us and all <laughs> i i wonder sometimes these people they shamelessly used to write chinet chairman amader chairman okay they shamelessly asked for the chinese and the russians to take over our country on so many occasions aur abhi jab ye allege kar raha hai wo bhi nahi chal raha india's foreign policy is not dictated by the us demands in fact if anything it's the opposite and they are the ones who are running on george soros's money abhi ye log they are they have the gall to say this kind of rubbish and they are completely ignoring india stand on russia russia ukraine war where abe lekin ek baat hai i i i like the cpm for one thing the one thing they have actually gotten right right nahi matlab consistent <laughs> wrong actually hmm. over the years is their hatred for the us hmm. despite the, half their leaders going to the us for treatment and all yeah um uh, for for their hernias and what not they have hmm. so uh they have consistently opposed us on the vietnam issue yeah on iraq yeah. on uh, nuclear deal on everything yeah right abhi israel palestine chal raha hai israel palestine ukraine everything i yeah. don't know about ukraine though unka koi bab dada ka system hai wahan pe so i don't know yeah but the point here is that they have been consistent only on one thing their whole entire existence why us is bad hmm. yeah actually right. uh, i would like to push back here and say that see cpim screwed even that up because you are a political party running a state you are not a think tank you are not a not a college group you are not a discussion group anything you are not even basically a a, a social organization if you are a political yes, group r- running a state your job is not to g- get into models of each and everything in the world your job is to get investments most of which will come from usa so that your kids don't have to go to bengaluru and usa so if if cpi if if us is a is an evil power who is invading uh, vietnam therefore don't send your fucking kids to usa to study that should have been the better way they didn't even do that number 1 number 1 they will um, send their kids to us yes. for jobs education and all that and yeah wahan se aur socialism seekh ke dei seekh ke yahan pe aake implement karenge that is different hmm. but um the even weirder aspect of this all of this is that they don't <laughs> mind foreign intervention yeah that's the interesting aspect they have hmm. never been again a non aligned summit nam nam summit ye to hmm. bekar ka tha yeah india did nam as a i wash yeah. side mein kgb chala tha india ko <laughs> but now the thing is that the cpim never has actually spoken out against foreign involvement yeah you see this is the fun thing about the, the cpim knows one thing really well and one thing the bjp must learn more and more from them is cpim is all about dikhawa okay the cpim has always shown that it is non aligned to uh, both russia and the us and then you know side me russia ka they used to uh, shake hands with them and all that they have done literally everything but they've covered it up at least officially through academic data and all that like like they've done a, they kept saying i am a celibate i am a celibate i am a celibate i am a celibate i don't look at women i don't look at women i don't look at women they kept saying all that okay hmm. and on the side they used to you know abuse johnny sins for getting too much women yeah okay. they are like that they like yeah. my brahmacharya whom i just you know i don't ever look at women yeah. but if you open his browser history you'll know what he's actually looking at okay <laughs> and, uh, and remember johnny sins for getting too many women yeah. so cpim yahi hai Yeah. basically but uh, yeah. th- the one time that they got really pissed off with usa is that arms drops case remember <laughs> when when congress tried to get into real real cpm opposing all of a sudden i think because mm. the allegation was that pv narsimha rao let that man get away they randomly distributed uh, dropped uh, air dropped weapons in purulia so that they could uh, fight against the communist government here <laughs> no no and uh, honestly the these guys na they were always they always thought very highly of themselves so 
they thought that that will topple the communist government. I mean, I mean that's what they, they thought they were Bay of Pigs. Chal rahi, pe Cuba hai ye yeah. uh, they thought they were Sasta Cuba. Yeah. Wo bhi nahi ban pae. Wo bhi nahi ban pae. Okay. They democratic banne ka chakkar mein wo bhi they screwed up. Okay. In yeah. a few years later. Yes. So it's these people are jokers. They, but they are dangerous. They are like actual wo dark night mein joker. They're one guy. Okay, in horrible clothes and and horrible looks and makeup, hmm. who can actually ruin the lives of millions of people in Gotham City? Okay, M. Shastri okay. is asking a super chat question here. He's saying Hindu law was essentially different laws for different folks, hence caste East. India Alliance wants to implement the same principles through personal laws. Aren't they increasing casteism? Ha, to ye kab casteism ka against the? Their hmm. parties are ruled by dominant castes or CPM ke case mein Brahmins. Hmm. They 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 never um, wanted uh, you know feudal jo relations tha. If I can if I talk like a Marxist, hmm. the feudal relations of production they never those never went away according to them. They wanted to keep agriculture forever, hmm. agrarian mode of production. Usme na wo, uh, they want privatization of that, which hmm. means privatization hoga to. Garib farmers can sell their stuff to rich capital. Hmm. So they keep the money lenders and all these people alive. Yeah. They keep the same feudal. They are always Yelokjo Bathkatan the Gandhi is their idol for a reason. Hmm. Because they never wanted the what Savarkar wanted for us. They never wanted a true upliftment of the lower orders through yeah. free market policies and, and through development and and uh, you know these things. Yeah, today also whatever we are discussing, hmm. everything you see is completely against the empowerment of poor people. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Everything has been tried long term has always screwed up poor people more and more. Absolutely. Now so, let let's get to the highlights. Yeah, highlights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Highlights are bigger than the main paper. What's going? On? <laughs> what what the fuck is this? <laughs> Irony, man. Irony. Okay, then let's get into highlights of specific issues. Okay, uh, let's see what are the main highlights first and foremost. Protect the secular principle and democratic rights enshrined in the constitution. Enforce the farmer's right to sell their produce at a minimum support price, which is at least 50% higher than the total cost of production. Okay, guaranteed, guaranteed profit. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Statutory minimum wage for workers of not less than rupees 26,000 per month. Wages linked to consumer price index. Uh, so, yeah, more joblessness. Achha, achha. Interesting. Ask any commie leader hmm. ki ki hmm. Hmm. that you have to say 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 that you have to Do you pay your domestic helper 26,000 a month? I'll, I'll give you their counter argument. I am okay. not rich enough to give pay my domestic help rupees 26,000 only because the capitalists are sucking my blood and because of them ah. I'm poor because Jeff Bezos wants another yacht that's why I can't pay my uh, <clears throat> my my maid 26,000 rupees otherwise I would have oh achha, achha. Uh, and, and that's not wrong because uh, then back uh, by the time all this stuff happens Inflation ka wajay se 26,000 rupees will be less than 2,600 rupees. The moment uh, you yeah. announce rupees 26,000, a basic minimum wage, immediately <laughs> inflation happens. Inflation bar jayega. Yeah. Koi mane inflation idiots, just like... idiots. Fucking idiots. So, as if the, the, the shopkeeper in the shop or the product maker doesn't know that your salary is now 26,000 instead of 13,000. So, let's not increase uh, my prices. Even though that yeah. person who is going to buy my product is earning double now oh, haan, wo to sab bhi kamana na? oh yes wo inflation haan. yeah uh, like arvind kejriwal said when when oil prices were increasing because of us not buying oil uh, or, or us uh, india's oil prices remaining relatively low because haan. of buying from russia Ar arvind kejriwal said modi must resign because uh, oil prices are so are so high <laughs> no and look what happened to him anyway or, or I don't know if, if exactly Modi said, but uh, if Kejriwal said, but CPM and those people basically were saying the same, same thing. Like, yeah, for, for onion prices, they said it. Okay, next yeah, yeah. is universal public distribution system to provide 10 kgs of food grains per individual, 5 kgs free of cost and 5 kgs at subsidized rates. Who is going to pay wow. for the subsidized rates and the free of cost? You, who is going to get the free kg, uh, free, <laughs> free rice. Now, one more thing, obese lives matter, man. What will happen Yeah. Of course. 
बहुत सालों से है बट आई डोंट सी एनी कॉमी लीडर एवर गोइंग टू एनी यू नो गवर्नमेंट हॉस्पिटल ये अजीब बात है Every government hospital must be inaugurated with a bypass surgery for every communist leader. This this is the most annoying of policies. Just few days back, I was having a conversation with with a friend whose uh, father recently passed away, and she was saying that her local Trinamool uh, MP is really good because at just one phone call, uh, she got. Uh, she got she was able to admit her father uh, in the hospital because uh, her father's friend used to be that mp's husband so anyway uh, this is what most people still don't get this is why we must go on speaking about free market and libertarian principles in principle at least yeah. and not just randomly say that today us us is filled with woke people therefore capitalism is as bad as, uh, as social uh, socialism no that is not the case The USA day metal, that USA the, wasn't libertarian enough, that's why it got screwed. Actually, yes, the day you get to a ho- Bengal hospital without your connections, that's when you will know your MP is actually good. People still don't get this. It's a it's Oligarchy. a private uh, uh, private favor Oligarchy. giving. Oligarchy. Yeah. Uh, okay, then uh, right to free health care. Yeah. Yeah. Immediately implement the legislation for one third reservation of. Yeah, that's done. Scrap the national education <laughs> policy 2020. Uh, teach me Aryan invasion theory and and say that Aryan Brahmins came with AR-15s and did a massacre of Dravidians. Major expansion <laughs> of public educational system, schools and higher education with quality upgradation. Public expand. Oh, yeah, that's done. Right to work. Yeah, I think we are done with these things. Okay, let's get to the. We've gone through most of the rubbish. Yeah, uh, these we have gone through. Okay, let's see. एनहेंसमेंट ऑफ पुलिस पावर्स उट ये एंटी डेमोक्रेटिक मेजर्स मतलब क्या है पुलिस के नॉट एक्चुअली पुलिस तुमको अच्छा बेटा मुन्ना बेटा बोल के तुमको ले आएगा जेल हाँ yeah. तुमको कोई फोर्स यूज नहीं करेगा पुलिस यू कैन यू कैन यूज अ मशेटी अगेंस्ट द पुलिस एंड किल अ फ्यू पीपल या बट पुलिस के नॉट डू एनीथिंग अगेंस्ट ये सेम डिफेंड द पुलिस सेम क्रैप या व्हेन While, while protesting, lawyer was it? So ED will remain? Why? Yeah. ED is just you. You will be in the body. What? As a disease. I guess they would say that uh, third party oversight, like like Lokpal. Ah, uh, Jokpal. Yeah, basically, <laughs> that is the problem, right? That these people, these people, anyway, forget it. I've, I've said enough. They are just rubbish. I mean, remove death penalty. Wow. ओ कासाब को बिरयानी खिलाना पड़ेगा और भी अरे 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 भाई 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 स्क्रैपिंग ऑफ मैंडेटरी यूज ऑफ आधार एंड बायोमेट्रिक्स फॉर ऑल सोशल वेलफेयर स्कीम्स और खिलाएंगे भी हम चोरी भी हम करेंगे तुम क्या कर लोगे या दिस इज एब्सोल्युटली रिटर्न बाय कैलिफोर्निया एनआरआई कॉमी बिकॉज दीज आर अमेरिकन पॉलिसीज ये दिख जाते आई टोल्ड यू ना वी आर लाइक नाउ एट दिस पॉइंट वी आर वायरोलॉजी वी लुक एट द वायरस एंड वी कैन टेल यू कहां से ओरिजिन है व्हिच 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 वो फिला वो जीनस क्या वो वो सब होता है ना बायोलॉजी में वो सब हम बोल देंगे पूरा स्क्रैपिंग ऑफ मैंडेटरी सो यू आर नॉट सपोज्ड टू हैव एनी आइडेंटिफिकेशन फॉर इन योर लाइफ बिकॉज़ कागज नहीं है अमेरिकन वोट हो जाएगा पूरा बांग्लादेश यहां पे वोट कर रहे हैं यस दैट इज व्हाट दे विल वोट इन अमेरिकन इलेक्शंस वही है सेम सेम क्रैप 
ओके एम शास्त्री इज आस्किंग विद सुपर चैट दैट वॉट इज द करेंट स्टेट ऑफ सीपीआईएम यूनियन वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग गो टू एनी बैंक Hmm. लाल झंडा नहीं दिखा तो मैं नाम चेंज कर दूंगा अपना वैसे भी मैं नाम चेंज ही करता रहता हूँ वो hmm. अलग बात है बट लाल झंडा इज वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग इन गवर्नमेंट यू हैव नो आइडिया ओके इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन हियर ए इज आस्किंग व्हाई डिड नेहरू अलाउ एस सी एस आई गेस ही वॉज मॉडल इन फेवर ऑफ दम राइट आई पर्सनली थिंक दैट दिस इट्स नॉट अबाउट नेहरू अलाउंग और नॉट यू सी the problem happened with the british uh, actually creating this kind of lobbies mm-hmm. and you lost already a large portion of your muslim populace whether you like it or not that's a different issue mm. and i think that this was just a continuation of uh, you know policies uh, by the british this nehru nehru and all were kept to provide british the the uh, uh, a replacement yeah. the british yes. even when they were gone it wasn't a very uh, creative government so to speak exactly that is what the oh, interesting aspect is the interesting ambedkar only wanted reservations for 10 years and ambedkar never wanted 50% reservations ambedkar wanted sc st mila ke i think 20 20% 23% ke aas pass if mm. i am not mistaken yeah so uh, it's actually vp singh who made the rest of it and mm. made it into 50% Wow. which was a joke because the obc status went to mostly dominant caste who did not need <laughs> so much reservation so yeah. ye log pura the problem with these things is these never go they they don't envision a future where they would have to deal with so many problems yeah and, uh, and this is the problem of socialists they always they are very short sighted always always yeah that is why uh, thomas wells book applied economics uses the caption thinking beyond the first order that you think only okay do this this will lead to this you don't know what's going to, uh, what's what it's going to lead to 20 years down the line precisely okay m shastri is asking a follow up question that uh, what you said about banks uh, uh, bus, uh, communist uh, uh, um, unions is that the case in the rest of india as well uh certainly in the central banks wagera ye to hai hi hmm. okay uh many teachers unions in different places certainly have commi elements in them uh particularly in non bjp states to hai hi hmm. forget that and you will also notice that in some mine mines and uh, you know other kind of places uh abhi maine to ye bhi suna hai ki ola cab wale walon ka union mein bhi cpim has a union okay i see so so it's it's unions are pretty much uh omnipresent in india what about rss's uh, unions which are as as commi as bharatiya mazdoor sangh is uh, there but the problem with bharatiya mazdoor sangh is it does not you, you see there's a there's a problem here the the bms does not necessarily always ask for workers rights okay the bms also emphasizes on duties and duties to the state and country and nation and all that stuff oh. so problem ye hai ki um the the bharatiya mazdoor sang is also about duties but cpim is always about rights no mm. duties i see yeah so you don't course. need to pay hard but you need to get paid that part they do so it appeals to a lot of bank workers and all these people and that keeps their you know ball rolling in mm. the unions yeah look at these three yeah. insane sentences scrapping the ca fine their yeah. argument will go on forever that capitalism uh-huh. is is persecuting poor bangladeshi muslims so next wala aur bhi aur bhi repealing yeah. anti conversion laws in states that target minorities so yeah. hindu minorities in christian states shouldn't there be <laughs> anti conversion law there i guess their no. minority means only national minority I, and not state people minority. have sold themselves for free because koi kharidega bhi nahi these people have sold themselves to foreign interest ye to you can see it ye repealing anti conversion laws in states that target minorities my point is that forget all that uh, what about the minorities of west bengal hmm forget muslims what hmm. about dalits what about others what have you done to uh you know actually better them better their conditions in in the states you were in yeah forget all forget even that what about the sachar commission report 
which said that Muslims in West Bengal are far worse off <laughs> than their Gujarati counterparts. Oh, I wonder why. Because USA is an evil capitalist state. Yeah, precisely. And 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 this is why the you know nobody takes these guys seriously, but they should because yeah. it's this this same thing. Like look at how they how they word it, right? Mm. Yeah, the anti-conversion law kisko kisko pachara Hindu ko pachara hmm. technically. Yeah. So it is happening in certain states, it's not happening everywhere. Yeah. But it's happening in certain states, right? Yeah. So they are actually in the Lok Sabha, they are bringing up this issue as hmm. not an issue of whether to protect Hindus or not. Hmm. Because they've always hated Hindus from the bottom of their hearts. Yeah. They are making it such that this targets minorities. Yeah. So have you seen, this is how they do, they kill a few million people and call it cultural uh, revolution. Yeah. They make anti-conversion law uh, as a law to uh, law that targets minorities. So mm. log uska negative kahas kahi se nikal ke, they will uh, put some uh, put some twist on it. Let's uh, let's steel man this uh, argument from as, as a commie. Pretend you are a commie for a moment and explain to me why would you want this law? Because what does it even do? What does it what does what does CPI mean by targeting minorities here? Just some harassment or putting behind bars some some potential uh, missionaries? I guess not just missionaries. Their main uh, thing is that Kerala meto missionaries are also against love jihad technically. Yes. So their their thing would be that they are trying to they are saying that these laws will be used to uh, protect um, uh, Lavanya of South Delhi from Abdul random Abdul. Hmm. Okay. Because random Abdul jab convert karne yaga, random Abdul will go to jail, hmm. right? Yeah. So my point is that this is a twist that they have put by making the ta- the the emphasis in is that that targets minorities okay what does that phrase mean that means that this law by default will target minorities ye log ye baat nahi bol rahe conversion means also targeting minorities like tribals yeah changing their by changing their culture wo baat nahi dekho ye log see inke liye minority sirf do hi hai is desh mein Sikhs are not a minority who are being rampantly, you know, uh, converted in Punjab. Uh, tribals are not a minority who are being rampantly converted by missionaries. And a few Yellow paragraphs Bidu- back, they yeah. said that they are against assimilation of tribals into into the so-called Brahminical fold. Sirf assimilate wo church ke father karenge. Wo log yeah. government ko karne nahi denge. So, yeah. so, you see that the one law that actually does protect minorities like Sikhs and uh, Adivasis and all these people... They are against mm. that law by saying that it targets other minorities, unke favorite minorities. Okay. So, you see the hatred, the absolute hatred yeah. they have. Then, the, what is the next point? Removal of RSS person <laughs> appointed in key positions by the BJP. They should have removed Prono Mukherjee. They should do a planchet, remove Prono Mukherjee as the president of, because he went to RSS Shakha once and spoke there. So, ye, this is so. You know, nobody takes them seriously, but the vile, the hatred, the absolute hatred that they have is... No, no, see, people don't take CPIM seriously, but they take, uh, most people, even today, the people who don't vote for BJP, a lot of BJP voters also, they they take these policies seriously. So our critique is fair anyway. Today, we are looking at the democratic extreme left of India. Yeah. That is what we are doing. Yahi se... You will find elements of these in Congress ka manifesto, in TMC yeah. ka manifesto. You will find yes. yellow copy paste. This is the yes. Parakuba. Yeah. This is the one kid who actually studies in class. Yeah. Who be California. Se. Yeah. And the rest of the kids just the rest of the backbenchers are copying from this guy. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Exemplary punishment for perpetrators of communal violence, regardless of their public or official position. Are so are anyone who throws so death penalty hata denge, death penalty hata denge, anti-democratic police is police brutality nahi chalega. But Jolo communal violence karenge, unke khilaf honge. So if you throw a stone at a Ramnavmi procession, you, you get exemplary uh, punishment? Ye to, I don't know. Because by, by allowing Taslim Anastin to get physically attacked on two occasions in Kerala and West Bengal, hmm. and not punishing anyone after that, I think the CPIM is 
uh, has exemplified this principle no actually they well. lived by their word because taslima nasrim was causing communal violence against peaceful maulanas so she was she got the exemplary punishment <laughs> protecting <laughs> the rights of minorities to lead a life of equality and dignity without any fear or discrimination they mean dalits right dalits and sikhs <laughs> You know whom they mean, yar. Kya bol rahe ho? Purging all school textbooks and syllabus in higher education of content reflecting communal bias and prejudices. Okay, so no prejudices in favor of Dravidism. Orange Zeb, Orange Zeb, Vina baja tha tha. Orange Zeb, Vina. Okay. Um, M. Shastri is saying, how would you get rid of CPIM, its institutions and ideology? Okay, I'll I'll add on to that a little. Uh, Mr. Sociologist, uh, do we really get rid of CPIM as a party or communism and their capturing of institutions and ideology itself? And how do we do it? I, Big question. I think it is difficult to do because you see the yeah. communists are. So I have thought about this a lot. It's. you know we've had rakshasas from ancient times right exactly like, we've never been able to completely get rid of absolute evil yeah we had nazis we had yeah. uh, socialists we had so there are the godless folk who always prey on the weak and yeah. destroy their lives in different ways and 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 think about it think about it this way um commies are for us what what shakuni mama was for duryodhan okay hmm Had Duryodhan not been led on too much by Shakuni Mama, he may have been a decent king. Who knows, hmm. right? <clears throat> yeah. But he had to depend on the worst kind of advisor, who was apparently yeah. a clever guy, whose whose whole life was dedicated to destroying the Kauravs and Pandavas. Hmm. So he did what he did. Yeah. So these guys are the same. They act educated. They are all, and it's impossible to get rid of them because they are like Raktavij. They will multiply. Yeah. and this is what some people because they are look at the stuff they are promising right you you get to work without any kind of um, you, you know uh, you can you can be unproductive yeah. you can you will not be uh, you know kya bolte you will not be penalized for hmm. not producing hmm. you will hmm. not be incentivized to do more work okay hmm. so you can uh basically get away with literally everything in mm. society and uh, you can even get away with uh, you know abusing hindus yeah because rss ka sabko remove kar denge so you can get away with literally everything as long as you follow the system so why won't young people and others who are tired of working hard not go for this stuff yeah and this is what some people don't understand that in order to eradicate communism you'll have to understand psychology first and foremost they think it it th- that's why actually personal attacks are also very ineffective against against communists or any ideology you hate communism is an ancient uh, moral problem it's it's a problem yeah. of uh, jealousy yeah. and laziness etc all mixed up so it's not Precise. like karl marx is the sole guy to blame here even if there was not karl, no karl marx someone would w- someone else would come about and name it something else and propagate the exact same policies it would be famous for the exact same reasons it does not matter if amartya sen said these things someone else would say and propagate those exact same things anyway it's it's a it's a right. social it's a complex moral problem it's a it's a problem that if, if uh, that humanity faces not just uh, one one ideological guy from germany it's not a it's not yes, a problem it's, because it's, it's because it stems from germany it would be as big a problem if it stemmed in in uh, ujjain precisely precisely and and that's what you know like we we have to be this is why the internet is important this is why knowledge is important that hmm. at least at least people can speak out against them when we get the chance yeah for for 34 years people couldn't speak out against these people yeah. in west bengal yeah. even this country are kitne log the jo actually who spoke out against commies and they were allowed to live or or have a career yeah even i have to hide my face for this right so hmm. the point is that you either way it is only through education that communism can be eradicated and by education i don't mean wo oh, bullshit you know that is taught in school textbooks no Hmm. by education i mean studying actual history studying actual yeah. um relevant uh, you know even economics and yeah. and other case yeah. studies of communist countries of 
कैपिटलिस्ट कंट्रीज ऑफ एक्चुअल के स्टडीज नॉट नॉट वो गोनोशक्ति में टू लाइंस जो हिस्ट्री लिखता है यूएस का नॉट दैट क्रैप राइट एंड ओके डू यू दिस पर्सन हैज आस्क दिस क्वेश्चन मल्टीपल टाइम्स डिस्कस अबाउट मेजी रेस्टोरेशन इन जापान एंड व्हाई समथिंग लाइक दैट डिडंट हैपन इन इंडिया डू यू नो एनीथिंग एनीथिंग अबाउट जापान uh well the thing is that meiji restoration japan was a highly centralized uh, state so okay. what happened is in japan it was easier for them to eradicate the dominant caste which was the samurai okay and uh, the the same cannot be said for the dominant caste of india who were in a decentralized manner kept in most villages samurai did not live in villages they lived in cities Right. and they became much poorer during the meiji restoration right before the meiji restoration so samurai did not have the kind of power that brahmins or other dominant castes or land owning castes had in indian society i see so if we compare even china with japan that's why japan modernized so fast because it was a very uh, you know uh, very centralized society compared to uh the uh, more decentralized china or india and other parts of the country m shastri is saying current modi government is meiji restoration better i think it's it's closer to lee kuan yew's uh, vision of singapore yeah a long way to go or, but still because meiji, meiji has its own problems meiji yeah. kind of it it forced a lot of things on people that were not necessarily very ethical i see uh Singapore was also I mean to be honest that all the success stories you see hmm. in different parts of uh the uh, world right hmm. uh that's these success stories have some dictator or some really strong man or woman woman much less actually but hmm. there are exceptions hmm. but mostly some persons taking charge some really strong person uh taking charge at a very crucial period yeah and perhaps you know in india we are lucky that modi ji can do it democratically hmm yeah. i am not you know user power yeah and uh, to quote thomas well again uh, there are no solutions only trade offs but the trade off can't be that your state goes to hell and your children live in usa well while, while you go on uh, propagating policies that that fucked your state in the first place um secondly uh wait now we get to the most interesting part cpim uh, economic policies cpim will work to restore planning commission <laughs> prashant chandra mahalano bishesh spirit will be brought soviet back through a planet soviet, soviet union stuff yes planning uh, commission plan <laughs> no no so wo to see this this all rubbish this centrally controlled yeah uh, dekho planning commission was highly centralized planning yes. commission gave growth rates and targets and stuff <laughs> se pura mane matlab kya pura khatam ho gaya sab kuch yeah. ye log same log hai jo bol rahe hain decentralize everything okay inko khud hi nahi pata inko kya chahiye ye inko nahi pata they have an idealized past which they want to get back to but they can't okay because people have moved on people have education now so they can't do that they they are nothing but sasta soviet but <laughs> usme bhi soviet ka jo problems hai in logo ko nahi dikhta hai but anyway wo that they won't see anyway hum kare to kare kya bole to bole kya integrate <laughs> growth with employment <laughs> generation okay see imaginary english literature cool sentences integrate growth with employment generation towards creating yeah. full employment and money in the hands of the people to boost demand sirf itna hi karna hai i just want to be happy like you go to a psychologist and Aray, say kaise karenge kaise karenge next line mein kaise karenge enlarge the resource base by taxing <laughs> <laughs> corporate profits and luxury goods tumko mercedes ke liye all or पैसा देना पड़ेगा मर्सिडीज खरीदो और पैसा दो तुमको तुम तुमको पैसा तुम अगर शेयर मार्केट से पैसा कमाओ और पैसा दो सीपीएम को पैसा दो ओह माय गॉड ऑफ एंड एज अ रिजल्ट बी अ पुअरर एंड सो देयरफॉर यू कांट इवन पे योर मेड 26000 रुपीस बिजनेसमैन बिजनेसमैन विल विल बी लाइक यार मैंने बहुत पाप कर लिया है बहुत प्रॉफिट कर लिया है सो नाउ आई विल कम टू इंडिया व्हिच इज रूल्ड बाय god forbid but uh, ruled by cpim <laughs> and i will pay more taxes to give other to give the communist party money wow yeah. <laughs> huh. 
मतलब जे एन यू से बीजेपी का भी प्रॉब्लम है बीजेपी डजेंट यू नो रिवॉर्ड पीपल इन एकेडमिक्स दिस इज अ फैक्ट इज देयर एनी रियल डिफरेंस दैट आरएसएस और आरएसएसएस यूनियन वुड सी विद दीस थिंग्स सो सो फार वी हैव रेड एक्सेप्ट सीएए स्टफ कल्चर स्टफ इकोनॉमिक्स यस द आरएसएस हैज मोर टू डू विद ड्यूटीज नॉट नेसेसरीली ऑलवेज यू नो डिफंड द पुलिस वगैरह ये तो नहीं करेंगे ऑबवियसली and uh, ca mm-hmm. wagera ye to yeah. padenge yeah on uh, economics the rs very much for a uh, duty bound uh, service to the nation yeah swayam sevak unions are much different from the communists in that mm. respect not paisa do paisa do paisa do yesa nahi hai right uh, okay uh next is allocate adequate okay Cle- thomas wells main problem with communism and lack of clearly defined words so what is fair share what is adequate resources here allocate alloc- allocate adequate resources for public investment for providing physical and social infrastructure okay bjp is not doing that apparently electricity public transport okay. ports schools colleges and public hospitals exactly what narendra modi is famous for what is going on here yeah the difference is modi ji makes these uh, you know effective like jo rasta banaye hai yeah wo do saal mein toot nahi jate hai <laughs> जो स्कूल्स कॉलेज बनाता है जो हॉस्पिटल बनाता है उसमें कुत्ता का बच्चा नहीं होता है वो इंसान का बच्चा होता है इसमें द एनआरएस एंड एनआरएस एंड दिस काइंड ऑफ हॉस्पिटल्स आर द सीपीएम इज टू रन इन वेस्ट बंगाल कलकत्ता यू आर फैमिलियर विद द नेम्स ओके आरजी कॉर्ड एनआरएस ऑफन ह्यूमन किड्स वुड बी ड्रैग्ड अवे बाय कैट्स एंड डॉग्स बिकॉज़ देयर वाज सच एन इन्फेस्टेशन ऑफ पेस्ट्स इन द हॉस्पिटल्स ओके often if you go to rg cord and these kind of places which are public hospitals run by the cpim and then tmc <coughs> would have noticed that people with with injuries like dangerous injuries lying in front of the hospital on a on the road because there are no beds in the hospital yeah yeah it's a common problem it's still a problem aadhe log to west bengal mein aise hi mar gaye because they didn't get the right medicines on time yeah okay so ye kya hospital banayenge ye humko मतलब पूरा to my to my friend that yeah yeah come in no problem and he says hold hold the feet a bit then he uses my friend his elder brother to yeah. uh, to fix the dislocated joint in his femur uh then uh, i i went to rg call luckily only once in my life for a band competition about 10 to 10 13 years back and we came first but the toilet that we were asked to go to as visitors actually had right. ankle deep toilet and and poop uh, floating in the floor absolutely and that's not that's nothing by the way yeah knee deep would be the real goal of communism equally distribute poop among all people um <laughs> uh, allocate adequate resources okay ho gaya favor the production of goods for mark- mass consumption and not sustainable lug- not unsustainable luxury Unsustainable goods, <laughs> goods. <laughs> ye badsha videos kaise banayenge yaar 
See, they yeah. don't understand the concept of luxury goods. It's uh, you, you, you spend so little to make luxury goods, but you sell them for so high. You should Tab be focusing ambassador. on luxury Tab goods. Now, we will not sell the ambassador. Exactly. No cigar will not sell. We will sell the ambassador. The ambassador will sell the whole ambassador. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. See, hmm. see, this is their problem with beauty in society as well. No, no, only, only goods for mass consumption. No, no, nothing should be beautiful in your society. Bring back the brutalist architectures, commy architectures. Absolutely. Favor the production. Okay, public provisioning uh, and subsidies for uh, provide incentives for research and development and special initiatives to increase competitiveness of small and medium enterprises that provide much greater employment. This sounds like a BJP manifesto at the moment, which BJP will actually execute. No, no, this is something You see. आर एन डी जो ये बोल रहे हैं वेर आई है प्रॉब्लम विद गवर्नमेंट फंडेड आर एन डी ओके बेसिकली वॉट दे वॉन्ट इज ये लैब में खुद के लोगों को घुसाएंगे यूनियनबाजी करके ठीक है Labs and all these research and development areas, hmm. why do they want more government spending? Why don't they ask corporates to spend there? क्योंकि कॉर्पोरेट में तो वो नहीं चलेगा ना तुम्हारा यूनियनबाजी नहीं चलेगा ओके देर आर्ग्यूमेंट their argument would be that the corporates are evil people who will uh, uh, immediately take patent of that research and charge you thrice the money for that product which you research or or the difference between that and a government sponsored research is wo cheez banega hi nahi wo cheez kabhi banega hi nahi okay if you ask for let's say a superior quality solar panel yeah. let's say moro वो चीज सुपीरियर क्वालिटी कभी बनेगा ही नहीं इट विल टेक 50 इयर्स टू मेक वन सोलर पैनल इमेजिन ड्यूरिंग कोविड इफ बीजेपी हैड डिसाइडेड दैट लेट्स आस्क द गवर्नमेंट ब्यूरोक्रेट्स टू क्रिएट अ प्लानिंग कमीशन फॉर मेकिंग अ वैक्सीन द गवर्नमेंट विल मेक अ वैक्सीन ग्रेट गवर्नमेंट डिड मेक लाइक द गवर्नमेंट हैड लाइक लाइक सो दिस इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन देम एंड द एंड 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 एन एक्चुअल नेशनलिस्ट गवर्नमेंट दैट द दैट द गवर्नमेंट एक्चुअली क्रिएटेड अ proper one of the best yes. vaccines in the in the world yes. that which won't give you myocarditis and all that yeah and gave it to crores of people yes and you guys kept batting for foreign vaccines yeah which were made by big pharma and which are giving myocarditis to people and which yeah. could not can be administered to poor people in india because yeah. they are too stored at minus 40 yeah right but the government so, did not make it they they hired the right people They, maybe maybe even if that is the case hmm. the government so if if it was free market if it was yeah. complete free market yeah then by that demand perhaps pfizer would have entered yeah. now pfizer now here's the thing pfizer itself is not complete free market yeah pfizer itself enjoys a lot of benefits from the us government Absolutely. and the demands it was making it's it's caught up it's so, the most corrupt industry in the world Precisely. So free market to nahi hota. What would yeah. have happened is we would have had a corrupt big pharma company running everything. Here. Yeah, it would be American politics directly in inside yeah. India. Absolutely. And wohi to ye log karte hai na. Yeah. Wohi to ye log karte hai. Yeah. Okay. One super And chat here. Work for yeah. capitalists. They, the difference yeah. is they work. They don't work for Indian capitalists. They work for foreign capitalists. That is yeah. the difference between the CPM and BJP. Yeah. BJP might work for Adani, but Adani is an Indian capitalist. Okay. Yeah. You work for Pfizer, except you're dumb enough that you don't even know it. Yeah. You think you're working for workers' rights. Yeah. My As anti US. You vote for the BJP. Yeah. That's a different thing. My anti US, a commy uncle used to say uh, that, uh, that back when I was very young, he used to say that most people who work for CIA don't even know they work for CIA. Well, <laughs> case in point. You should have just yeah. said case in point. <laughs> ओके अ सुपर चैट हियर इज पॉइंटिंग आउट टू व्हाट यू टैग्ड मी ऑन द फेसबुक केरला चर्च ने कहा है संडे मॉर्निंग प्रेयर छोड़ो केरला स्टोरी मूवी देखो या प्रिसाइसली एंड वेल उनके उनके बारे में सीपीएम कुछ नहीं बोलेगा या ऑफ कोर्स नाउ सम सम मोर आदित्यनाथ सेज इट सेज इट बाय मिस्टेक देन या तो हो जाएगा नाउ सम जूसी जूसी पॉइंट्स लेट्स सी व्हाट व्हाट एल्स दे वांट टू डू Uh, uh, public provisioning provide incentives for research okay scrapping the <laughs> fiscal responsibility and budget management act and setting a minimum floor for social sector spending as a binding constraint in fiscal exercise for both center and state governments 
halt any further dilution of government equity in public sector banks and uh, and wow, strengthen wow, wow. the public sector in banking so that you can uh, i can tell you that come after 12 pm you i can force the government to give loans to vijay mali or whoever is my favorite at that time yes and then wo paisa leke bhag jayenge fir modi ko modi ko pakdenge modi ne kyu paisa diya tha are yeah. bhai modi <laughs> modi ne kyu bhagne diya ye aisa kuch strict nice, adherence nice. to priority sector lending uh, sector lending norms all uh wait what happened <clears throat> okay <laughs> all regulatory authorities of the financial sector should mandatorily be accountable uh, involve state governments in major economic decisions of <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> Listen to this, this, this sentence. Oh my God! Know, this is know, horrifying. Involve state governments in major economic <laughs> decisions of national significance. Restore decision-making powers of states and allow greater fiscal fis- uh, flexibility for revenue raising by states. Okay, there's no flexibility at the moment. मतलब स्टेट में हम लोग चोरी करेंगे कोई बात नहीं तुम लोग मत बोलो और नेशनल में भी तुम लोग जो करने चाहोगे उसको अटक देंगे हम लोग so yeah. that this country never develops. Yes, trade issues. protecting indian interests and standing up to the us uh, us moves to increase tariffs on indian goods and waging trade wars okay russia vaccine uh, so, review reviewing existing ftas not proceeding with negotiations for fta with european union on existing terms oh ta kisi ke sath trade mat karo kisi ke sath free trade ye trade kuch mat karo just trade amongst yourselves like <laughs> kya barter system karo sirf <laughs> replacing article 356 with a suitable wow, provision wow wow and amending article 355 any state will go rogue no no kal yeah. any state will go rogue yes and the central cannot even matlab you see right what they are trying to do they are like they what they want to do matlab this is the wet dream of a lot of people who hate yeah. india hate hindus more yes. importantly resisting the increasing control of international financial institutions and asset management companies over indian okay now they are against black rock and state street all of a sudden nahi ye log actually kis ke khilaf hai socho the local mutual funds and companies black rock is their un- illegitimate father they will not be against black rock completely but they are against international oh. financial institutions you see and asset management to yeah over ये सुनो ब्लैक रॉक दे विल नेवर रियली गो अगेंस्ट इट और मे बी दे माइक जस्ट बी डॉमिन ऑफ दे डिड गो अगेंस्ट द यूएस इंडिया न्यूक्लियर डील सो या दे माइक जस्ट बी डॉमिन ऑफ परहैप्स परहैप्स पॉसिबल रोलिंग पॉसिबल माइक बी स्टूपिड इनफ नो बट देन दे वर बैक देन दे वर गेटिंग मोर फंडिंग फ्रॉम सीसीपी राइट नाउ दे वांट हां नहीं अभी भी उनको जो भी मिलता है वो सीसीपी का ही बट देन ऑनेस्टली I don't know how their equation with BlackRock and these are okay. Well, uh, the the topmost people probably know something we don't, but at the bottom yeah, everyone yeah. will protest against BlackRock, but their placards will probably be sponsored by BlackRock indirectly. Precisely, precisely. Rolling back of the national infrastructure pipeline, <laughs> which facilitates private players in long-term revenue collection in core infrastructural activities, which will create yeah, jobs. Yeah, but I think the CPIM will make everything: roads, infrastructure, yes. everything. And two days after that, bridge which the gear will fall on yeah. us. Make and more. And then they will pay two lakhs. Then they will pay two lakhs to our families out of our own taxes because their bridges broke. Uh-huh. Rolling back of the national monetization pipeline. stall and reverse the long term gift over of brownfield infrastructural assets uh, repealing and revealing uh, reversing the national land monetization policy pipeline uh, monetization policy prevent the accumulation of huge contiguous and land parcels with unique rent collection capacity in the hands of private corporation does it this includes sez right yes something like that something yeah. like that sez to you know na khud banaya tha jab yeah, trinamool was the one that, opposing sez it was supposed to be an sez right yeah Trinamool, Trinamool opposed opposed S Z and came to power. Yeah. Uh, so so no Gujarat uh, gift city. <laughs> Reversing. He, the... <laughs> you know the funny thing. I think that the they ये हम लोग का like the problem with the BJP or the Sangh is they don't pressure Indian capitalists enough to stop funding these jokers. Okay. <laughs> the indian capitalist should now what rajiv malhotra has been saying for a few years now ki indian capitalist mein hi khot hai 
ठीक है दे हैव बीन फंडिंग दिस जोकर्स फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम व्हिच इज व्हाई दे आर स्टिल एज पावरफुल एज दे आर व्हाटएवर लिटिल पावर दे हैव इज बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट ओके वन वन ग्रेट न्यूज़ फॉर माय पॉडकास्ट दे सीपीआई एम आस्किंग टू रोल बैक प्राइवेटाइजेशन ऑफ पब्लिक इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सेक्टर सो वी विल हैव ओनली गवर्नमेंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी व्हिच विल गो ऑफ आफ्टर एवरी 5 मिनट्स ओ रोल बैक ऑफ प्राइवेटाइजेशन ओ अच्छा अच्छा हां हां सो एलिमिनेशन ऑफ सीएससी एज़ वेल दे सेड रोल बैक ऑफ पब्लिक इलेक्ट्रिसिटी आई वाज लाइक वाओ दैट्स ग्रेट और देन आई वाज लाइक नो रोल बैक ऑफ प्राइवेटाइजेशन ऑफ सो नाउ दे हैव अ प्रॉब्लम विद सीएससी एज़ वेल व्हिच दे पुट आई थिंक व्हाट दे डिड आई थिंक यू नो व्हाट दे डिड आई थिंक दे जस्ट गूगलड प्राइवेट इन इंडिया एंड जो जो आया दे सेड अगेंस्ट 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 ए बीएसएनएल एमटीएनएल वापस आएगा देखो आई थिंक दिस इज जनरेटेड बाय चैट जीपीटी दिस इज नॉट एक्चुअली रिटन बाय एनी पर्सन I also think so. Yeah, no, Google Gemini, Google Gemini. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Repealing oh. the Telecommunications Bill 2023, reversing the pro-private telecom policies to encourage telecom and internet okay, penetration. Your, your, your uh, this thing, the speed at which we're talking won't exist anymore. Yeah. Yes. There it, will be tremendous like lags. <laughs> <laughs> strengthening public sector telecom companies bsnl and, MT- and mtnl which no one uses by guaranteeing <laughs> a level playing field and rapid roll out of 4g and 5g services oh they want a rapid roll out of 5g services so they are against uh, sparrow yes, giant i guess yeah they are not against 5g nice because they also need to communicate with george soros sometimes na yeah so they are But not friends with the environmentalist lobby showing the so. right to internet dekho ghatiya internet lekin right to hai this is what exactly mark zuckerberg asked for वो फ्री बेसिक्स डेवलपिंग नेशनल सेल्फ रिलायंस इन कम्युनिकेशन इक्विपमेंट एंड मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ओ ओके या नेशनलिस्ट पॉलिसीज़ ऑल ऑफ़ अ सडन एम शास्त्री सेइंग सीपीआई वांट्स टू एक्सट्रैक्ट ब्राइब्स इन एवरी वे पॉसिबल बट एम शास्त्री दिस इज नॉट सीपीआई दिस इज सीपीआई एम सीपीआई इज डिफरेंट पार्टी विथ फर्दर लेफ्ट पॉलिसीज अरे बेसिकली ही इज गॉट वन थिंग राइट दैट या वो तो ठीक है कि सीपीआई सी पी आई एम सेम ऑल स्लाइटली डिफरेंट वर्ड ऑन वन इज लूज मोशन वन इज स्लाइटली मोर हार्ड मोशन ओके लेट्स इंडस्ट्री पॉलिसी Reversing the disastrous policies aimed to dismantle and destroy all PSUs through different administrative orders and guidelines, doing away with all uh, DIPAM initiated PSU privatization efforts. Shonjeev Shanal would re- listen to this and say, "So what? <laughs> we did a great thing. Why? Why do we need PSUs?" ये ये इन लोगों का सेम शिट. They just googled whatever is private and they said, "Let's oppose everything in mass." एक ही you are lucky. Uh, you are lucky that they said. For roll out of 5G and 4G. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You are lucky. Only, I think they will be accepting of 5G only if it's met by a government servant, right? It it has to be a bureaucrat appointed with a engineer with bureaucrat oversight. A babu babu will have to sit beside him and say, "Ha, chal chal, abhi kar, abhi kar." Uh-huh. Otherwise, it's not. It's a problem. Inka ye Nirajan ka podcast se bandwidth hata the. पब्लिक सेक्टर especially in core and strategic areas by withdrawing the huge burden of levy allowing efficient reinvestment of profit for modernization and upgradation providing level playing field and access to resources supporting weaker psus with fresh capital so that they can be uh, even fresh weaker capital, I mean, fresh capital kahan se aayega why are they weaker in the first place of yeah and also fresh capital kahan se aayega fresh capital aayega kahan se Mere by taxing tax adani aayega. yes uh, and, adani rahega yahan pe if you tax adani 50% yeah I I I hope that never happens. Rather, he will go to Dubai. No, he will go to Dubai. Uh, updated technology ensuring technology transfer in each and every import obligation okay okay introduction of a holistic long term industrial policy which apparently we don't have reinventing re- investment strategies and mou conditionalities to ensure higher employment investment ratio acha acha tum bologe aur ho jayega <laughs> ensuring increased value addition and appropriation in our domestic segments of the global production network executed through a tight export import investment policy okay okay we don't have a tight import policy at the moment <laughs> No, this is this is just this is. Do you understand that they, they have just rewritten everything? You see, whatever whatever they have written, they have just said, "Ye private hai, isko public karo. Ye private hai, isko." They did what South Park did, wo uh, on that on Disney. Remember? 
No. You know, put a check in it and make it gay. Yeah. Like and those, whatever is public. Yeah. You know, we, yeah. <coughs> Use they 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 did the same formula here. What what South Park is saying, Disney did to all kinds yeah. of good stuff. Same stiff stuff they did here. They just said. private lo public karo private lo public karo private lo public karo oh acha state chal raha hai state ko hatao uh, decentralize karo same same stuff yeah and and w- where they are actually giving examples of uh, public companies they are saying that it's too weak it's too poor i don't even use bsnl are 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 so put more money are 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 ye dekho modi ji ne to ye kar diya last wala jo hai ye tumne introduction of public sector digital platforms to break the monopoly of amazon zomato which modi it, actually shouldn't have done but it it's been done already ondc no 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 ondc should have been done for a different Why? reason it, it has to save the retail sector the retail retail businessmen who are often ignored by uh, amazon and zomato and all these people. yes there are problems with amazon how amazon decimated small businessmen but amazon is very bad for small businessmen yes. and honestly the the problem is slightly different the problem hmm. is not that amazon is evil the problem hmm. is that yaar uh, because amazon will try to monopolize right yeah. perhaps perhaps we need an antitrust law ye to cpm to uske khilaf bhi rahega okay uh, mr mr sociologist do you know where flipkart is based out of officially not in india so I why don't you some, why don't you help flipkart do its uh, business nahi my point is That that is why antitrust laws in every you know in America yeah. I, I I heard this like in in Bill Gates for example they hmm. they they had to break up Microsoft or something right yeah. if I'm not mistaken because it got too big it it cornered like ninety nine point ninety five percent of the market or something so yeah. if Amazon is doing that and it destroys retailers hmm. then yeah. by all means let's have a let's have an anti ये लोग वो नहीं बोलेंगे ये लोग नहीं बोलेंगे कि एंटीट्रस्ट लॉज लाओ क्योंकि इनके जो फेवरेट कैपिटलिस्ट है उनको भी तो प्रॉब्लम हो जाएगा ना या एंड एंड मोर इम्पोर्टेंटली फ्लिपकार्ट कुड हैव बीन द काउंटर और और क्रिएट टू थ्री मोर फ्लिपकार्ट बट यू योर टैक्सेस आर सो हाई दैट फ्लिपकार्ट इज नॉट इवन बेस्ड आउट ऑफ इंडिया दे आर सेंडिंग देर लो टैक्सेस टू सम अदर कंट्री तुम टैक्स लगाओगे बहुत हाई सो कॉम्पिटिटर्स वोट कम तुम वो भी नहीं करोगे तुम एंटीट्रस्ट लॉज नहीं करोगे क्योंकि तुम्हारे Favorite people are uh, businessmen actually who want to come into the Indian market. And this is w- exactly so, what Amazon wants. Amazon yeah. is happy with these things. They don't. They, they can afford to pay these things and remain the monopoly. Yeah. It's Flipkart Precise. who can't afford these things. Precisely. Proactive initiative to bring more IT jobs and technological growth to tier two and <laughs> tier three cities without compromising workers' rights. IT is over, by the way. The IT boom is dying. ye log this is what tells you that the cpm is still living in the 20th century and this is being said by a party who stopped english education and not to mention who threw computers oh from government buildings Because guy you, uh, you have to you have to tell my audience cpm's history with computers non bengalis don't yeah, know so this oh i think when rajiv gandhi ye rajiv gandhi we acted like he was charles babbage or something that he introduced computers he was not that he Did not introduce computers. He forced. He he brought them in some government offices for efficiency. So CPM was like, "Yeah, Inka, this will take away people's jobs, and then they will, uh, you know, uh, this." So they threw went to each government uh, office and threw computers from buildings. And now these people are saying this. And okay, so and don't let SEZs exist. Exist. They are saying tweak it, tweak SEZ policy in such a way so that it stops being an SEZ. strict implementation of labor laws in scs ah or na it's anything mane kuch bhi kuch bhi so strikes <laughs> strikes in gift city and and uh, uh, tcs all day long now acha let's do one thing because i'm running a bit short uh, of time yeah uh, let's is there anything for... to get to here i don't, I don't think Nothing there is anything you? significant yeah withdraw afspa ye sab uh, नया बात नहीं है या आई थिंक वी आर डन आई थिंक वी आर मोस्टली वी गॉट द वर्स्ट पार्ट्स ऑफ इट या वी गॉट द एसेंस ऑफ इट वी गॉट द एसेंस ऑफ इट दैट मेक मेक इट ऑल मेक प्राइवेट पब्लिक एंड मेक इट गिव या सो कोई बात नहीं चिल्ड्रन आर द फ्यूचर चिल्ड्रन यूथ इंक्लूजन ऑफ राइट टू वर्क <laughs> unemployment allowance 
करो करो सब सीपीएम को वोट करो सब यंग लोग सब लोग जो चैट बॉक्स में है सीपीएम को वोट करो स्प्रेड ऑफ ड्रग्स मेनस सो दे आर गोइंग टू अरेस्ट देयर ओन एसएफआई पीपल अरे ये देखो एससी एसटी को गड़ी भी रखेंगे ये देखो ये जिंदा है डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ फाइव एकर्स टू ऑल लैंडलेस फैमिलीज फ्रॉम एससी एसटी नाइस दे कैन ये so लोग इनको गरीब मतलब फार्मर ही रखेंगे इनको yes. कोई मतलब दे आर लाइक दीस पीपल डोंट नीड जॉब्स दे जस्ट नीड टू बी फार्मर्स फॉर एवर एंड एवर एंड एवर एंड एवर या बिकॉज़ दे दे आर ब्राह्मण्स दे आर द इवल कास्ट हायरार्की मेंटेनिंग ट्रैड्स हियर दे वांट फार्मर्स टू रिमेन फार्मर्स इनके बच्चे इनके बच्चे कैलिफोर्निया और टेक्सास में काम करेंगे या और ये इनके जो पेजेंट लोग हैं इनका ये सब उसमें काम करेंगे दिस इज देयर जाति सॉलिडारिटी दे आर दे आर शोइंग जाति दे वांट फार्मर्स टू हैव जाति सॉलिडारिटी फॉर फॉर देयर ओन प्रोफेशन प्रेसाइसली minorities minorities commission statutory body which will be headed by shruti rani cpm loves hindu so much that they will bring back hindu rate of growth in india <laughs> obc is lgbtq oh nice uh, but bjp is i think pretty much in favor of all these things ensuring crimes against lgbtq plus same sex couples i said already treated on par i, with I want them to implement it in kashmir when they can try to how is this not already a law they are saying ensure that crimes against lgbtq people are uh, treated on par with crimes against non lgbtq is it not that already what the fuck is going on here they are telling us to you know uh, amend the law that does not even exist yeah are are ye dekho ye dekho are 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 go back go back go back go back lgbtq to last point dekho sex change surgeries of lgbtq i should not be done without their informed consent Uh, who does it without their informed consent no 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 this is very interesting so think about it consent who can give an adult right yeah. technically they are saying it wink wink nudge nudge they are opposing uh, under for under for, uh, under 18s ha uh-huh. interesting so they are not willing to cross that line yet yeah. yet interesting Mm. measures to address bullying violence and harassment talk okay so yeah st- stronger hate speech laws ye to same crap yeah. yeah persons with disabilities uh, for people's welfare stopping the implementation of the uh, national education ye to ho gaya ye any piece na bahut chir raha hai inko kyunki nobody will study sociology after that na eventually mane koi sociology honors nahi hoga no Me, fdi right. in higher education dekho okay good no no lgbtq and communism studies then we will all all study arthashastra precisely how come how they come haven't, they haven't banned, banned ai, AI? <laughs> they couldn't they wanted to if they stayed in power Are they would ai ban nahi karega ye likhega kon gemini likhe na ye <laughs> if they ban ai then basic stuff will get, oh. you know khatam ho jayega uh, these we know more or less <clears throat> yeah, yeah yeah old pension scheme of course yeah. Uh, same servicemen urban issues issues uh, environment make the system and process of uh, state central level effective okay so no nuclear again no no nothing new yeah. uh, modi ji jo kar raha hai usko guma fira ke matlab some of the stuff they can't deny that he is doing so why is in this ending oh my god oh it's of course done with chat gpt or or gemini Yes, and privacy. Listen, make it as Californian as possible. Culture and media. Ah ha ha ha. No imposition of no Hindi. Imposition of Hindi. Nice. <laughs> yes, proud. We are talking in Hindi partially. We should stop. Yeah. So, FDI नहीं चलेगा. FDI FDI कहीं नहीं चलेगा. My God, how will their you know प्रसार भारती चलेगा? Hey, I I am all behind this man. Yeah. So no NDTV. <laughs> No Republic, only Doordarshan. Listen to how great Modi is. All day, all day, <laughs> Modi ji ka picture. Nice. <laughs> so NDTV journalists don't know that CPM wants them to go jobless. This is what happens when you put like, wo films hota hai na, like you put some feudal lord in the 16th century. Amrish Puri. First century, and they are like confused. Ye ye sab kya ho raha hai? Women are working. Ah, huh? computers, <laughs> mobiles. What is this? Yes, CPM is like that. Like. That's why they didn't ban AI because they need AI to survive. Okay, let's see what last last these three points. Let's see what are they. Introduction of proportional representation with partial list system. 
state uh, funding this, in the form of uh, material for recognized political parties prohibition of corporate funding <laughs> into political okay does this first point in, uh, somehow might bring back if cpm ever comes to power a separate uh, electorate for for muslims isn't it like I that i i it might be it might be hmm. this they just didn't have the balls to write uh, yeah, separate basically to ensure right. faith is restored in democracy by appropriately amending the rules regarding the use of evms resequencing of the electronic suit uh, electronic units in the polling booths voting units control units and vvpat at least 50% of vvpat must be tallied with that recorded in the control unit before declaration of results okay i am not against this <clears throat> yeah this is right. bring the election what? expenditure of political party oh, yeah yeah to ho gaya oh but, thank but this is coming from a party that was famous for rigging elections so Any yes way. we are done with this finally uh okay then thank you mr sociologist for joining us uh <laughs> see you on friday uh, or, yes. or hear you from you on friday or maybe before that as well and thanks so for joining me. thank you okay. for and sorry for holding you holding you back for all long. young kids vote for cpm to ensure good future okay one last super chat here from m shastri he is saying uh, how is cpi okay. proposing that they will use nat national grid nat grid is equal to government national counter terror and surveillance system what will cpi do about it i don't know but the thing is if they do that uh, clearly jaise gemini you thought is artificial intelligence versus just wokeness hmm. they will clearly use that to put hindu so this is similar to that yes sonia gandhi ne kuch law banaya tha na ki कहीं भी हो हिंदुओं को जेल में डाल देंगे कोई भी कम्युनल राइट हो एक्चुअली इट वाज आई गेस हर्षमंदर्स आईडिया व्हिच गॉट रिजेक्टेड या एनी एनीथिंग हैपेंस इन पुट हिंदूज इन जेल समथिंग लाइक दैट या आई कीप फॉरगेटिंग द नेम ऑफ दैट लॉ या लाइक द मोस्ट रेसिस्ट एंटी राइट्स एक्ट राइट एक्ट समथिंग लाइक दैट या एंड ओनली अपर कास्ट हिंदूज विल बी टू ब्लेम हां 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 so if nearby an upper caste hindu is just having tea and there's a riot yeah. kilometers away they'll catch him and put him in jail hmm. so um i think this is something similar to that like yeah uh, they'll make a format which will eventually target hindus and put them in jail or something yeah i yeah. won't be surprised i of mean course. this is the this is a party that absolutely hates hindus so yeah either capitalists or hindu and if possible hindu capitalists or both hindu capitalists to <laughs> Okay, Barbari ka Smriti is saying they hired a California professor to write it, but then he formed a union and went on strike, so they had to use ChatGPT to fill it out. Nice one. Nice. But anyway, uh, we we endorse uh, based on these great suggestions. Uh, College Street Kolkata and I endorse CPM for the coming Lok Sabha elections. Yes. Okay. So. free free yeah. electricity for all equal distribution between all podcasters whatever beer biceps is making i am going to get some percentage of that yes and i want to <laughs> so yeah anyway okay theek hai chalo yeah. good night good night guys mm. good night mr yeah. sociologist bye bye bye